Hello, hello, welcomes, greetings, adventurers. I am the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the F and DM, and this is Cold Hard Witch. Gather around the campfire this evening, and joining us is none other than Buddy playing Xander, the wizard, Lee playing Herrick, the cleric, we have Nathan playing the professor as our warlock, Amy playing Feriel, the Drogue. Uh, Madeline, who plays our Bard Zalvana, will not be joining us this evening, but last but certainly not least, there is Rodney, who plays Finn the Fighter. Flynn the Fighter. Finn the Fighter? That sounds fishy. I don't like that. All right. So, greetings, adventurers. Gather around the campfire as we begin our tale this evening on Cold Hard Witch. So, when we last left our intrepid adventurers, they had journeyed out onto Loch Dinashare, sailing the intrepid, frozen, shifting, icy waters, and doing a very good job of falling in. So, we had uh, both, I believe, our Fariel, our rogue, and Zolvana, our bard, take a dip. Um, and so, with this icy water embracing them. They were able to get themselves to the shore. Upon getting to the shore, the party scrambled to bring a bonfire to life to sort of bring some warmth back to their frozen bones. And it is at this moment that they were attacked by not one, but two Craig cats, monstrous sort of saber-tooth tiger-esque creatures that roam the frozen wastes that is Icewind Dale. After dealing with this threat, although not as successfully as Zalvana would have hoped, as the bard was unfortunately knocked to almost the veriest brink of her life. So now the party lies huddled, frozen on the ice, surrounded by dead cats, and hopefully a chance in hell of staying warm. Off in the distance, the cauldron caverns echo. Don't time. Uh, oh, what, do you members? think that there we go? Do you, you can we uh skin these cats and put them up on a spit to have a bite to eat? To I'm, I'm told recover? there's more than one way to skin a cat, however, uh, given the fact that you were just attacked out in the open like that, and there's now, for lack of a better term, fresh meat on the ice, uh, if you want to skin one of those cats, you most certainly can. I would recommend making a move towards a shelter, or at least trying to make one your own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's probably smart. Yeah, how big are the cats? They are large creatures. So uh, if you want to try to drag one of them, I'd say that's probable. If you want to try to drag both of them, <laughs> drag one. All right, so <laughs> b before we get into dragging bloody cat carcasses around, uh, it, everyone's stable at the moment. Saturdays, yeah? am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Just another Saturday night. Stable at the moment, yes? Yes. Yes, yeah. I believe right. so. And so I, uh, when I had searched this boat, I found some empty liquor bottles. And did we see, I think that maybe the cats interrupted our investigation of it. Did, did we see, uh, like, footprints leading out or yeah, so bloody, if you, bloody drag marks? Or? So as you sort of, uh, if you scan the ice... Uh, around you, you can see on the map here, there is this sort of like shambling trail, which mm. looks to be like f scuff shuffling marks of what may or may not be. It, it, the, the footprints themselves are somewhat trampled as there were at least how many fishermen? At least. <laughs> at least one. Four. Four. four, four. four. Yeah. Pick, pick three. Three. Lord. All right. Yeah. 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 So there were at least four fishermen that you know that you've been sent out to look for. So you can sort of make uh, as you as you see the sort of shambling tracks towards the caverns. You're like, okay, definitely more than one went this way. Okay. Uh, well, what does everybody think? Should we? Um, so the the cats, we noticed that magic was behaving weirdly around them. Um, am I able to investigate or discern whether or not that was like some kind of? Was that just an innate? The nature of the cats, or is there 
are they wearing? They're not wearing something. They're cats, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> they got colors. But, yeah. but what? What is? What oh, is the go, meta? Of... And they're actually you're actually just trapped in a frozen yeah. hell version of Cats, the musical. Yes. That's all what it is. Yep. No. I wouldn't hate it. <laughs> so if you want to know if they're innate, Nate. Yep. Oh. An arcana check. What shall I roll? Arcana. Got yeah. It. Let's do an arcana check. Can I assist him with that? Oh, no. Oh, certainly you can. All right. So how we're going to do uh, assist rolls if uh, one character wishes to roll a roll of any sort, be it stealth or arcana. If another character wishes to assist them, they can then have advantage on that roll. But both characters must be proficient in that ability. If... Only one of them is proficient, then no advantage is gained. This helps your games to stop uh, multiple players from going, I want to roll for an invasion. I want to roll for it. I want, And you have like 16 arcana rolls and just, you know, the your barbarian who somehow happened to just roll really, really high managed to roll a nat 20 on it. And you're like, oh, fine. So with the assist, Nate With will... advantage, I got a 15. Yeah, nicely done. So that 15, you both, uh, any one of you who have like an innate magic casting ability saw the fact that the initial shot kind of caught the cats and hit them but as you went to use additional effects on it devices and uh, spells that you had used which you could rely on before seemed to be shrugged off by these cats as if it sort of hit their fur and then just sort of dissipated along them now whether or not this is a, a trait of the coat itself or a trait of the cats being alive well, you'll have to skin a cat to find out. So if if we end up taking one to to cook and skin out, maybe we'll we'll keep the pelt and further investigate that. I, mean, I think it's least, a good idea. Yeah, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Eric can make some fantastic Craig cat steaks or something. Oh yeah. He probably has a, a roasting spit in his uh, backpack. Huh? Damn it! Probably. Can you buy, can you buy them? <laughs> <laughs> because um, he does now if it's an option he's yeah, right. now. Yeah. so then so Ryan to the south of us there's there's nothing there's no cave entrance or anything so yes so yeah as, so to, as you to try to find a spot we're going to need to search just a little bit yeah so uh, as, no, as I yeah, mentioned no before place. during last game there were four separate entrances that you could see sort of just about maybe 30 yards uh, to the north of you mm -hmm. uh, it looks like uh, two of them are higher up. One of them is a little bit lower, and it looks like it also has tracks that kind of go up into it. Again, from 30 yards off, you're still kind of squinting a little bit like that. And then there's a lower area, which looks like it may or may not have been a, a, a frozen sort of river that had come out. Mm -hmm. So you have four options in front of you uh, as you're sort of peering towards the ice. I'll go ahead and shift you to... Yes. Uh, as if the party is in agreement that you're going to start moving towards the caves. Yes, yeah, so we need I, shelter. Of some I pick, sort. Up <laughs> yeah. of, pick up one of the cats. Dig it. Yes. All right. And say we need to drag these guys. All right. Somewhere. So yeah, if Herrick is picking it up, Herrick, what's your strength? Uh, 16. A 16. Okay. Okay. Uh, roll me a strength check real quick. Oh, it's a bit heavy. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently those knucklehead pies are sitting a little heavy in your belly. <laughs> Still <laughs> hasn't digested. Try to get a shoulder under one of them. Uh, so you you can drag this cat. You're going to be definitely moving uh, at like half your speed unless one of your party members decides to assist. I will. I'll help him. Yeah. <laughs> Speak, speaking of switch, does anyone have a strength higher than like... 16 in this party? I think Herrick's probably the no, beat. Yeah, nope. Herrick's the beefiest. <laughs> no, no, no. As, I as, have an 8. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. as as Flynn the Dwarf Flinger once said, I'm a dex build. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so Rodney, go ahead and uh, roll me, uh, give me an athletics uh, ability. Yes, okay. See if you can't. It's unfortunate because our bard is the second most strongest person mm -hmm. in our group. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Ooh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh. all right. With that, so with that 19, you see Herrick try to like sh put his shoulder underneath the cat. He's like, <clears throat> and his foot kind of slides out from underneath him. And as his foot goes out from underneath him, you, you reach out and sort of catch it. And then you're able to sort of hold it in place as he sort of really gets it underneath his shoulders. And then he sort of 
and you both are able to sort of carry this Craig cat. Now, keep in mind, Zolvana is quite literally on her last two legs, so uh, she'll need some assistance getting into the caves as well. But with I, I will try to assist her all I can. I mean, again, I'm not strong, but I think I can, I can help her. So yeah, yeah. But with everybody helping everybody out, we'll shift towards the cauldron caves. All right, friends. So uh, as previously stated over here, you can go ahead and uh, drop your marks on this side of the map if you can see where I'm pinging. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. So you've if got... You could turn off the fog of war, that would help. Yeah, sure would, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, Is this uh, 10 foot squares then? Yeah, they are 10 foot squares. So uh, yeah, you are not... Oh, no. You are not super tiny. I mean, you are super tiny, but you are super appropriately tiny. a tiny for the size of the square. I think I dropped myself in the fog. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Rodney's like, I think I'm here. I don't know where I am, though. Right. Uh, can you pull Zalvana on for us, please? I certainly can. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And <laughs> Zalvana. Fuck, I could hear a dog go rough. It was a dog, Yes, it was, it? It was, it was. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends. So it's a lot of pets you, on this stream. You, yeah. Oh no. I, one, that's one thing I love about this uh, lawful statement. Like everyone's got pets, and they're so great. All right. So as you kind of come up to um, the the cliff's edge here, you see that there are in fact the four entrances here. Uh, this appears to be. Uh, go ahead, uh, everyone. Roll a perception check. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Okay, so we have uh, 21. Eight, 18, Ooh, all right. 18, an, eight, an 18, a 21, an 18, a 20, and a 21. Y'all are so perceptive. So the one with the highest skill got the lowest. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how it, the dice tell a story. Yeah. All right, friends. So uh, as you're sort of standing at these cliff faces, you're able to sort of, with your percept, with those fantastic perception checks, you're able to see that sort of the, the two paths to the north. The cliff wall is, you, you, it is climbable. Like you, you can go ahead and, and climb the wall and it doesn't look to be actually too difficult to do, um, but they are gonna be about, a, it's about a 30 foot climb to get up that wall. The one that's just, so the third one uh, to the south is about 20 feet up. And it looks like there have been uh, like footholds kind of clawed or dug out of the ice as if it was an easier way for them to sort of assail. And then the lowest one to the south there is actually going to be, woo, um, is going to be uh, just at ground level and sort of the widest point of entry. Um, you'll notice with the perception of 20 that there is this wind, this sort of howling, just like, and it just and with an occasional squeak uh, that just keeps coming through the caves. It sounds like um, basically that sound you make after you've been sitting watching Netflix for too long and you go to sit up again. So you're like, <laughs> so, like that sort of sound like that's it's got that sort of almost like a like a wheeze as if you're sort of hurting or gasping for air a little bit. Which yeah, Many of us, from? Ryan, are young enough that we don't have those kind of ailments. Uh, 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 yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> you go ahead and live through 2020. Tell me you ain't made that sound, but all right. <laughs> I'm going to say trifling, trifling. Um, and then uh, the other thing you'll notice as it, it so the so you have the, the caves themselves, but as you're looking in, uh, it looks to be very, very dark as each of the entrances seems to be shrouded in midnight. Is it though? Can I take a peek around and see oh, yeah. if any of these particular pathways look like they've been more recently traversed? Excellent. Okay. So uh, go ahead and tell me which one you want to check out. I will check as well. Um, I guess I'll just start with the super wide, easy Dig to it. travel one. Okay. Okay. So uh, go ahead and roll me. I will mm. go and help her. Give me a... a Give me an investigation show. Oh, so we, I'm sorry, which entrance is that? The, is I that think the... she was saying the the the, the, su the southern one, the one that's on the ground level, that is sort of the frozen river, if you will. Gotcha. Okay, investigation. You said 
Does, yes. does she have someone assisting? I can't help with that. Uh, I, I thought tr I, if it's tracking, I don't know if it's survival. Yeah, I thought it was going to be survival, but I can do investigation. You know what? I'll, I I'll, can. I'll take survival. If, so if you're tracking, I'll go for survival. It is definitely yeah. It says it, yeah, yeah. That's traps. my. That was my intention. Was like looking. Okay. For... Cool. I will assist then, or you can assist me. Whatever. I don't um, cool. All right. So I'll, that I'll do it. that tracks. Go ahead and roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with advantage. You're a monster. Then... Yes. Same as me. So. Well, yes. Ooh, nice. Yes. With a twenty-one. Okay. So with that twenty-one, checking out that that that's the most southern path. Yeah. You, you're able. So because of the way the sort of the wind whips, and that this is the widest one, the the paths themselves, the, the, there doesn't seem to be as the tracks sort of came across the ice that you were following, because it is snow ice. The wind itself had sort of whipped the track. Um, the tracks off of the ice. And so as it's, they sort of get to the caverns, they, they disperse enough that you're not able to discern what direction the footprints went. Um, though, given your survival ability and the fact that it was a wonderful 21, like if you were stumbling across the ice, you probably wouldn't go climbing. But then again, sometimes people, when they're drunk, make poor choices. So you will notice that the with a 21 just to cut time you will notice that the the ice cave path uh that this path here the one that has the sort of the footholds chewed out of it looks like it was used more recently than the other two uh spots to the north which looks like they haven't been used at all the uh the 20 ish the, the one with the the footholds in it the that's yeah. probably a more defensible position so while it's diff more difficult to get up into it would be easier if they were fearing something to uh, to defend. Uh, I, I'm going to pop out my um, my familiar mm -hmm. and just have her kind of take a, a spin around kind of this cliff's edge that we're on, and then once she reports back on that, I may send her into a couple of these caves and just have a quick peek. Cool, cool. So you're sending her through the uh, through the cavern? No, 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 no. So just so we're we're on the flat coming up to a cliff. I want her to kind of just take a look around and make sure we don't have more crag cats I coming you. up behind us that are about to chase us in. Lovely, lovely. So anything is, is the exterior, and then we'll look at the interior. Got it. Okay, so you're having uh, Tempest do a flyby essentially on the exterior of the caves. All yeah. Right. Lovely. All right, uh, go ahead and so, buddy. When you do your, when Xander uses Tempest, uh, is she? Are are you rolling your perception? or Are you rolling her perception? No, I figured out that if I just click on Tempest, I can use her perception. Lovely. Um, As an owl does have a plus three. It does. A nine. Not a great roll. <laughs> not, not, I mean. It's a it's little bit of an owl. An owl, yeah. owl, get, owl gets advantage, does it not? <clears throat> that perception. Um, like keen sight or something. Has like advantage that. on wisdom that rely on hearing and sight. Yes. Yes, there, there we go. go. So roll again, suck less. Roll better. <laughs> Ooh. <Nope>. Ooh. <laughs> that was... <laughs> you came up with a seven for that one, friends. So I believe uh, my bird is being very upset at your representation of other avian creatures. So, um, but so with a roll of nine, uh, the way the wind's kind of coming off, Tempest is doing her, her best? Her best. Your best Perfect. to sort of uh, scan the ice. And so she sees no immediate threat, though, if a creature was uh, really sort of uh, camouflaging, you know, she wouldn't have picked it up. OK, but so, so far, seems, nothing is apparent. Seems like there's no immediate threat. Um, she wouldn't tell me what she rolled, but she seemed pretty confident. And you are seeing sort of like Sylvana is. And then, like even Fairyel as well, she's usually very sort of stone faced. But like anyone, anyone watching her, like her hand, she's starting. Well, they to, still like, have Herrick's cube, yeah, it's, it's normal mm -hmm. cube. Yeah. yeah, true, true. But their clothes are still wet. But it's warm, wet. <laughs> yeah. That's not. Yeah, warm. Did they wet. not dry off in the bonfire. That, so, given the fact that the attack came almost immediately, and they had to start yeah. to move around, and like the wind is constantly sh like blowing through, like there just hasn't been time enough for them to dry off. Got it. So, uh, should, should I tell me which cave to send Tempest in, and I'll send her in? Well, yeah. While uh, Xander's doing that, I uh, strip off my furs, and 
uh, exchange them with uh, with Zavana. Sorry. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, what think... do you guys think? Do you, do you do the southernmost or the next one with the handholds? The one with the handholds. I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Because if there's if, so. if there's a cave mouth that we can sort of set up shop in for like a minute, so everybody gets their bearings, we can keep an eye on the cave going in. And we have an advantage looking at the southernmost peak from a higher elevation. Yeah, you um, had a good point about it being a more defensible position. Yeah. So. All right, I, I'm going to have a stern talking to with Tempest and and send her to this one to look at and tell her to look better. <laughs> <laughs> If we can avoid climbing, that would be Excellent. my vote, but you all make sense as well. Um, are you ready for me to roll that? Yeah, yeah. I, I think, are, are you ready to roll that? No. Uh, yes. Oh, there we go. go. 22. <laughs> Fantastic. And okay. she has go dark girl? vision, dark vision 120. Okay, great. Uh, and you're, you're sending it in to explore the cave? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sir, what's what's her not convincing? What's her flight speed, buddy? How how far can Tempest fly? Sixty. Okay. All right. So uh, with that sixty, she's able to sort of she careens down the path using her night vision with a twenty-two. That's fantastic. She sees that uh, this is sort of a a cave. Actually, it's sort of it's sort of like separate off from the, the rest of the the main cavern, or at least so it seems from her, this initial sort of fly through uh there appear to be like like debris uh on the ground she she thinks they may be sticks or bones it could be possible that it was a, a previous campfire or something of the sort but uh, all right i will i will relay all of that to the party as she flies through she doesn't see anything um n nothing's inside the cave that would cause any sort of issue uh and it does look to be like a place where you could quite literally hole up yeah, Seems that's... like that might be a good option. Yeah. Professor, I think you might have to climb. <laughs> oh, I do have some I'll climbing do uh, equipment if we need it. All right. I would, so since since my... Can we use the footholds to get up, the carved in Absolutely. Stuff? So since Absolutely. my since my familiar was the one that said it was A-OK, -okay, I guess I'll be the first one up. Excellent. Do you, do you want to be the first one sure? up? I don't want to be no, but I'll, I just, but I'll be the first I, one. Up. I just I just put all of our no. I put all of our safety on my familiar, so I'll. I'll Flynn, Flynn, you and I, you and I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me get Zelvana fixed. Is she feeling right. warmer? So I've got Flynn and uh, Ferrell. Yeah. Lovely. All right. So uh, Flynn, you, uh, you 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 down on them goggles? I am absolutely. <laughs> I, I will. Say. I will not be putting them on practically today because they broke last session. <laughs> oh no! Like they just—they started to fall apart like halfway through, so they're not going to be practical until I fix them. <laughs> well, what's that? Do it. All right. So, uh, as you sort of move yourselves into the the, the cave itself, yeah. There we go. Um. And so yeah, just just like Tempest reported, there seems to be, you know, a pretty. Decent looking cave structure in here. Looks to be pretty solid. Nothing seems too amiss. Um, though you, so so how, how far how far are we moving in? Mm -hmm. um, Should you look like a big old pile of skulls? Just mm -hmm. a little ways. I have um, super dark vision. Super dark. <laughs> super dark. <laughs> so. <laughs> I can should be able to see like well into the cave. Oh, absolutely. So with so with that angle there, you can definitely a uh, fair you, you you spot eyes on sort of these 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 bone piles here, and so uh, go ahead and make a survival check. Okay, with the twelve, 12. you are you are well accustomed to uh, from your time in your other life hunting in the dark and you know uh sort of a, a den or a, a lair when you when you come across one and so this looks to be like some creatures abode though they don't certainly seem to be in there now as 
with the perception checks and with the flyby, uh, it, the cave is empty. I don't know if I can tell with the 12, um, if it was like recently vacated or if it looks like this creature's been gone a while. Like, do I think it might be coming back soon? With a 12, uh, so you haven't been able to, like, you don't see yeah. any recent tracks or any indication that, like, it was, um, that there, like, that it was recently, uh, um, inhabited. Okay. But, um, uh. All right, Flynn, I think we can call the others. Yeah, well, and also think of it this way. If something's not in there now, there's only one way for it to get in, so we can bottleneck it yeah, yeah, if it exactly. tries to come back later. That's true. All right, y'all, it's clear. Um, So how should we get... Because I don't know if the Zalvana can climb up on her own. I was going to go back down? to the entrance and toss my rope from the top and yeah. try to secure it to something because I do have a rope in my bag. Brilliant. Yes. No, I love it. So else. between... Uh, cool. The hand holds, the fact that it's only 20 feet, and the fact that we are going to be using rope, I will let everyone uh, basically roll an athletics check with advantage uh, so that uh, those who are trying to climb up uh, will get that. So that will be the Still professor. Still not hopeful. Acro uh, professor Ac Xander. Acro? Acrobatic? Professor! Hey. Look at that! Look at that! I got a 19. I'm still young and spry. What? Hey. what I'm hey. good. Hey. Yeah. Ac acrobatics? <laughs> no? You fine, Xander. Well, I ain't rolled parkour, yet, baby. Parkour, 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 parkour. <laughs> um, I've got a climber's kit. So. There we oh, go. Boom. Oh, look at that. 19, 18. There we go. Look at this. Look at us mages doing stuff. <laughs> Do I still need to roll with a climber's kit? I mean, I can't. No, I said no. With, with that climber's kit, absolutely not. So you can use the climber's kit as an action to anchor yourself. When you do, you can't fall more than twenty-five feet from the point where you anchor yourself, and you can't climb more than twenty-five feet away from that point without undoing the anchor. But because there's only twenty feet, uh, I would say with that climber's kit, you are able to just pop yourself up. And of course, the DC with three of you succeeding, Zalvana is able to then uh, be pulled up, hoisted up. Uh, are we attempting to get the Craig Cat into? Yes. The cave? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Just, just like heave low or something. Yep. Everybody yeah, knows. I imagine. So, uh, <laughs> so before before Herrick Climber gets himself up there, uh, he's going to go ahead and uh, take a tie the knot around the cat, and then. <laughs> oh, they're married. Sounds like a which sounds like a different Saturday night thing. <laughs> um, and then you you all help to hoist the cat. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, lovely, 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 lovely. All right, All right friends. So you, you hoist the cat in and you make your way into the cave. Mm -hmm. Can I take a peek down now that we've hoisted this cat up and just see, did we leave like a bunch of tracks? Is there like a bloody trail coming up to this cave? Ah, okay. So yeah, by by hoisting the cat up, um, it, it, it was still bleeding. So there is uh, a, a bit of a trail and a bit of, you know, like... It, Anyone Bouncing with eyes would be able to cliff. see that like something large got dragged up this ice wall. I don't want um, to do you want to try to? Uh, yeah, I want to try to cover it up. Dig. Uh, that's why I love. Oh, oh. Uh, can I see the heart? The heart of the cat? Yes. Whatever. Whatever sort of organ is still going to have the most blood left left in it. Um, even post like this yeah. this soon after death. Yeah, I, I want to see it and I want to throw it um over here. Okay. Like decoy. Do you? Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, go ahead and make me a survival. Uh, then, uh, or give me a slight of. Oh, so 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 we we can do this a couple different ways. We can do medicine because uh -huh. that's medical ability. Uh, yeah. We could also do. Could could uh, we have just done it before we pulled everything up? Sleight of hand. I mean, be, but because Flynn is already up there and he had this idea, he's. Gonna, like he's probably trying to just sort of bank it around. Plus, but I, probably I was, it would probably make a mess. So probably better to contain more of that mess in the cave anyway than do it out in the open. That's uh -huh. true. I was just a little freaked out that he was like, "Ooh, ooh, can I see the heart?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. There's a Xander. Do you have any magical means of perhaps cloaking our 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 passage Flynn. or anything like that cleaning up at all well hold on a second so flynn roll me a medicine check to see if you can get the heart out all Under right that. uh fairy elf roll me a... we could use that in a recipe 
we got the whole rest of the cat here for a recipe. I just want to roll me a survival check to see if you can uh, help to obscure the, uh, the your passages. That's a 21, nice. baby. 21. Oh. Hey. Oof. OK, so with the 21, you're able to like heartily remove the organ. Uh, and then from there, uh, do you want to make a. So, you know, we could we could actually just have Tempest put the heart anywhere we wanted to. Ooh, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. oh, OK, yeah. She could probably fly it further away. Oh, we could, there's a there's a Monty Python joke in there somewhere. Uh, <laughs> we could make it. We could actually the velocity of a hot lady <laughs> familiar. All right. We could have her take it to that the northernmost cave. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, over get, over yeah. here, Ryan. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you want to have Tempest do that? Sure. If everyone's in even agreement all, on that. Yes. Even our mm -hmm. viewers are doing puns. I know. <laughs> uh, Ryan is infectious. How are you? How are you feeling, my dear? I look to Sylvana. You warm, so, huh? It's better, but oh, can we, can we just get the camp set up? I think that would be best. Oh yeah, I've got. I've got. Make a, sure my loot uh, fingers still work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have a look at my backpack. Are, are we are we looting things now? I definitely thought L O O T for that first <laughs> <as well. laughs> Then I was like, I oh wait, she's the bard. I I forgot my liquid U. Everything's frozen in here, so it's easy to forget. All right. I'll, I'll like, give her like put my arm around her to try and sort of give her some body heat. Um, obviously, she's got my clothes on. I'm carrying her wet clothes. I give them a sideways glance under my hood, like. <laughs> well, I'm just well, let's keep, keep it up warm, you know. All right, is there so is there heart, anything heart in this is disposed cave of? that we can make a fire out of? So the heart is disposed of. Uh, so let's, let's push in a little. Yes, I was like standing at the mouth of the cave. You don't know. Excellent. <laughs> it's also freaking dark. Oh, I, don't I, know. I, I see pretty well. I'll pull out my sword, which my rapier, which is moon touched. I, uh, I will. I I'll do something. I'll do something. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh, what will you do? I'll uh I'll just kind of like make a little snappy motion with my hand and four little globules of light just start circling around the cave mm, lighting light globules <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but can you can you can you attack with them like shoo, shoo. no they're just pretty no but what what does happen is your moon sword goes out oh <laughs> and any light shown up and moon blade just dims to normal. Is that true? Yep. I did not. I did not realize that. And it, as long as if, if you're within that light, then the moon blade will dim to normal because the, the other mm. light takes over. Sorry, Xander. Fascinating. At least you won't have to wave your sword around all night. It happens to the best of wizards. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll come back to that because I, I don't see that in the description. But yeah, I didn't see that either when I was using my moon blade for Cyborg. Uh, all right, so, oh, uh, all right, Herrick, I'm going to put you, so, uh, Herrick, you're moving, you're into the... Yes, yeah, oh, I would have moved, moved in with, with uh, Savannah. All right. Um, get a fire going, come on. Uh, I'll look around for some debris and... Yeah, I'm looking around for anything to burn. I'll yeah, so there's box. bones and bits of, like and whatnot like you could you could burn something in here but one it's a cave um so the smoke's gotta go somewhere and i don't know if you guys ever have a burnt hair smell but that's not gonna be super great the cube however uh inside the cave if you're able to sort of set that up will radiate the heat and then i believe the the radius on that is it's, it's decent yeah yeah it's, it's so like that'll That'll make it real nice and toasty for everybody inside, and you, also you can't cook the cat on your cube, though, can you? Harry? Oh no, no, of course not. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in a minute, though. I will head out back to the beginning of the cave and um, set my trap. Ah, ah. you didn't think Mother I was going to forget that, did you? Trap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh yay! All right. So, uh, cube is set up. Uh, how long are we? Uh, how long are we resting here? party of mine um let me see what have i got that could potentially start a fire i have a tinder box yeah we need but it, i don't have like what wood to burn tinder i mean i have torches uh what have i got i've got nothing 
We've got a boat, but we should probably not burn our only. That, yeah, let's not burn the boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. After the yeah, technically, you have three boats, but uh, yeah, if you're hoping to bring back survivors, uh... no, I haven't got anything. I mean, uh, so I, I I have torches that we could break up into a fire. I do too. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, idea. same. Yeah. All right, good. While they're doing that, I'll start preparing the cat. And we'll get some food off it. And... I love it. Yeah, and let's try to save the pelt if we can, just in case it is something swanky. Uh, are, you, are you skilled in skinning? Uh, I'm not. Mm. I mean, it's just a matter of time, you know. I don't let's, think so. You just you just sit down. You just make sure you just get it between the fat and the and the sinew, and just make that. You, if you really do, you can get a good grip on the on the fur, and just you can just rip that thing right off there without even really getting your knife under yeah. there. Yeah. So Herrick, if you wanna... it, it sounds it sounds like Flynn is uh, skilled in that. Let me, so, let yeah, me, let so, me so Flynn, just on that description alone, if you want to go ahead and roll either a medicine or a sleight of hand check to well, see I, if you I can, can do a medicine. Uh, I don't know what What's skill. That? I can do a medicine check. I didn't know. Oh, you can do skill. medicine? Okay, yeah. yeah. No, so it's it'll be it'll be a medicine check, and then are they helping each other? Advantage? I yeah. don't have. I'm I, I'm not proficient in it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you rolled that twenty one. Okay, well, I'll do I have that. a plus three. Not proficient. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I say so. If no one else is proficient, you can't roll with advantage. But yeah. Wait, in what stat? Sorry. Uh, medicine. Medicine. Oh, probably not. Do I think it's going to be yeah. worth a lot of money if it is preserved? Likely. Hmm. Oh, I have got inspiration. You do. So you I could do. use inspiration. You absolutely could. If we wanted to keep the the pelt. Um, can I make any sort of assumption, uh, like knowledge check, insight into what it'd be worth? Is it worth me? I mean, it's a so it's a craig cat. So uh, and furs, especially in a frozen tundra region, would mm. definitely not go uh, unused. Especially, and then the fact that it is a craig cat's fur. Uh, you saw that it had some sort of ability, whether that ability was from the living cat itself or a trait of the fur itself. You're not certain, but I say, uh, see a, a typical fur. So you, you you should be able to get some decent money for that. Or at the very yeah. least, maybe uh, take it to uh, Garn and see if he'd uh, be able to. You know, Do I uh, want to save the inspiration for something important though? I'll just roll normal. I'll yeah, roll. I would say save the inspiration. It'd be great if we can keep it, but it's not worth dying later to get something yeah. that we could cash out on. So <laughs> yeah, right. at least we've got the fur. I will. <laughs> I don't know why my stuff. Could... I wrapped in the Craig fur. <laughs> skin. Um, I did rename. Um, I customized my. You know the plus one dagger you gave me. Was it Cook's blade? Wasn't it? No, um, Chef's knife. Chef's yes. blade. Chef's blade. Yeah. Chef's knife. Uh, it's in roll 20, I believe. Yes, I did uh, finally uh, figure that out. Good job. Um, yeah. Obviously, I will pull out my chef's <laughs> knife and start skinning away. Love it. I don't know if, if that gives me any extra. Right, medicine check. I will give you a... So, with the, if you're using the chef's knife, that'll give you a plus one to the roll. All right, 10 then. So, that'll be a 10 then. Okay, with the 10, you're able to do a pretty... It, it's... A, a, an okay job like it it's not exquisite but you definitely have enough of the pelt intact that you'll be able to 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 make something of it so again it's a large creature yeah so definitely definitely for yourself herrick if you're looking to do it or uh for one of your friends i say that's a pop there's a solid possibility there okay all right the funny thing the worst part is is like originally when i built the character i took leather working <laughs> and then i changed it <laughs> For Mason's tools because he loves mining. But that carry on. All right, friends. So as Herrick prepares dinner for the evening, uh, what does everybody else get to doing? Um, well, I will try if if I can to just look around the the cave and see, like check the walls if they're drawings or or you know, things like that that may indicate who had been here or. You know, just kind of investigating what I can about the cave. I want to yeah, check was... out the bones and see if I can figure out what what kind of creatures the bones are from. <laughs> I'm going to restream my, my crossbow and then watch as everyone else is like 
checking out like uh like you basically keeping an eye on what everyone else is looking at because i'm expecting something to pop off i got you i got you all right so keeping a weather eye on the door there and then uh so xander and uh so xander you can roll me a give me either a in, give me an investigation check and then okay. uh, same thing for you uh professor So the professor comes up with a 16, Six Xander came in with a 12. Uh, Xander, uh, there doesn't appear to be any sort of, uh, no intelligible markings on the walls. Like there's a, you see like a, there's like a scat pile in the corner. So, mm. you know. But this, is, this seems like a natural cave. It's not a carved cave. Yes. Yes. This seems like a natural formed cave uh, okay. in this buff. So, um, and then um, it's probably the professor cats, it? with a 16. Uh, you're able to sort of discern that, like the the bones in the pile there, they appear to be mostly animal. Uh, there's there there is a, there, there's a crag cat skeleton in there, or at least from what you think, it's kind of looking at the body of the crag cat over there and looking at the skull pile there, and then maybe some seals, like uh, some so like again, mostly animal bones that you're able to find. Cooking away. Sylvana's over there in the corner trying to. Ding. Ding. Oh, sorry, I'm still feeling a bit winded. I. Uh, I just can't. Oh, I'm dizzy a little bit. <laughs> Are you still bleeding? I'll go and check. And I'll turn around to, to Flynn. Don't let the meat burn. Yeah. Okay. I'll go over and like tend to. I um, so since we're we're seeming to settle in just a little bit, I'm going to come back to here and send uh, Tempest out again. Just, just kind of in this local area. Mm, okay. Just a, I don't want her to just stay out in the cold, but like you know, every little while I'll send her out just to make a quick look and see if she sees anything. Um, if you need me to roll for that. Uh, go ahead and have a roll or perception check again. Okie dokie. That's what I'm talking about. 22. There we go. 22. Okay, good. Yeah, with that, she's keeping a nice keen eye out on the thing. Uh, on the ice, uh, she doesn't see anything approach as of yet, and she's just going to keep circling Xander. Is that well? So, like, go out and, and, and circle, and then she can come back in with us, and okay. like 15, 20 minutes later, go out and kind of do it again. Okay. I, just, I don't want to leave her out in the cold. I mean, yeah, no, no, that's that's absolutely all right. So, uh, Herrick, as you move over to Zelvana, uh, secret secrets, everybody. Oh no! Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, Herrick, as as you mo move over to Zelvana, you see that she's sort of barely keeping on her feet, like she's just sort of slumped against a wall, and you start to notice this trickle of blood that is sort of coming from underneath her tunic. And again, you hear the voice of your wife in your ear. She's like, she needs help. Do what you can. Do what you truly can to help her. He's not with me anymore. She's always with you. Do you hear another voice in your head? Still female, but not your wife. Can I determine who it is? Rest easy, cleric. I'm here for you. I am known as the Blue Lady, and I have heard of your anguish, and I would see you restored. I've gone racking my brain for any Blue Lady references that you might have known, or because hmm. obviously he worshipped Moradin. <laughs> I 
can see you trying to rack your brain. You think too much. Feel again, Herrick. Your compassion is your strength. And in this land of darkness, you will need to be the light. Come now. The shackle calls you. Do the good that you know in your heart you can do. And with that, suddenly the, the sound in the room seems to come back. You hear the crackling of the, the orb next to you and like the, you smell the smoke and the fire and it, it's like the senses just sort of come back at you and you see Zilvana staring at you. Herrick, are you all right? Uh, I, I, I think so. Oh, that's good. And she starts to collapse forward towards you. I'll prompt her up. Okay. Um, he will obviously check where her wounds, where the claw marks are. Or bite yeah, so as you sort of pull aside her tunic, she has taken a, a massive claw wound just around her back, basically back towards her kidney, and it's just, it's just oozing blood. I um, while while he's doing that uh, DM, I'm I'm just gonna come to here and like notice that something's happening. I'm gonna tell everyone that Tempest said everything looks fine for now. I'll send her back out in a few, and then kind of under my breath, in Elvish to uh, Flynn, I'm gonna say, "What's going on?" Uh, I'm just gonna say back to the. Am I close enough to hear that? <laughs> to uh, let me see, Fairy. Uh, uh, yes, very. Also, if you're sort of in the front there, you, you can kind of hear uh, Xander's exchange to uh, Flynn. Since I imagine Flynn, you're kind of, you're at the front there. If I'm seeing it correctly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I, I mean, I, I'm I'm seeing that she just kind of fell over, and I'm just curious as to what's happening. Yeah. Um, I mean, I didn't. I, I'm not sure if specifically. It's got to be the wound in the in the cold got to her. Um, Harry places his hand over the wounds as you place your hand over the wound a blue infinity symbol appears on the top of your hand and it illuminates like a sapphire he smiles and then whispers the words Thargana Zaruna. 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 <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Normally I can hold my drink a little better than that. <laughs> what What did I miss? A, a lot. All right. And then those of you <laughs> around, you, you hear um, now... Herrick, do you say that loud enough? Uh, he yeah, he has to. So yeah. That's verbal. So in, the, in in the echoing of the cave, you hear this this magic uh, sort of, and this blue sapphire light emanate from Herrick's hand into Zalvana, and she covers. Now, those of you who, who are spellcasters, you've seen this done before, but up until this point, Herrick has professed that he has no abilities. That's new. He did tell you that he was a warrior. cleric in the past, a long mm -hmm. time ago. True, true. Yeah, but like new to us now. Yes. Uh... Well, it's been a very exciting day for me. Can we um, maybe take a rest before we get eaten again or... <laughs> Oh, Herrick, are you cooking? Oh, is he burning it? No, it's not burnt. 
I was half expecting when uh, well, when when Xander came up to you, Flynn, to be like, "What's going on?" It's like I'm trying not to burn this thing. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got like one. He got like, one arm turning it, and the other one's like looking back. You know, like, when you watch stories while you cook. <laughs> no. um, obviously, he's still checking her wounds. Just, he just wants to see of what happened. You know, with the wounds, did it stitch back together? And yeah, of what he's yeah, used so, to in the past. So yeah, so so with that eleven. Um, so with the 11 healing that you're able to do for Zelvana, like sort of the severity of the wounds where the claw marks themselves were sort of deep and just almost cavernous on her side, like they almost like a blue thread seemed to sort of go through them. And as the thread sort of pulled her skin back together, it then seemed to make it brand new as if the wound had never been there before. And so while she still bears evidence of the damage itself, it is much, much less than it was before. Much less severe than it was before. Oh, that's, 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 uh, that's, uh, oh, yes. It needs some salt and pepper. I'll get, I'll I was going to say, you got <laughs> salt, you got to get a lemon in there, some basil. Uh. Well, we haven't got none of that, but I've got salt of pepper, and I'll put some salt of pepper in it. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a lemon? It's been uh, so long. A good. Yeah. Uh, oh, how long have we been up here? Oh, not since I've been up here, no. Six months. Don't like months. Talk about lemons. <sighs> Sour attitudes, Tom. Uh, <laughs> um. So, d d does Herrick go back over to the to the spit? here where yeah, this too. general area we are uh, as he gets to it i'm gonna glide past him and again under my breath but in dwarvish this time i'm gonna say i told you you might still be special and then i'm just gonna continue walking on and i will come over and sit next to zelvana and i'll return saying smart ass in elvish <laughs> <laughs> got that one got that one <laughs> I'll chuckle when he says that. Yeah, awesome. you see Feriel's shoulders kind of like chuckle a little too. I love it. Good, good, very good. So, so any, did we check out this kind of back room area in our investigation thing? Yeah. yeah, so in terms of the, so with the survival checks and the investigation checks and whatnot, so like, again, it, this seems to be a, a naturally forming cave, like no, no one hewn this rock uh, outside of the earth itself. Um, and so the, the, the bones and the sort of the animal bits are sort of just strewn throughout. And it seems to be like this may be like sort of the main chamber and this was a smaller chamber off the back of it, but it doesn't seem to have any sort of significance um, in terms of the domain. But so and we're certain that there are no other entrances. Right. So with that, with, with the investigation checks that you've been making, there have there are no further entrances into the cave that you can see. I'm assuming it's it's a little more comfortable in here. No no wind, and is the howling stopped in here? So the howling in here is actually a little bit muted because this cave, not being connected to the rest of the cavern, you hear it, but it's sort of like, okay, as if it's you know again muffled behind the door. So um, so weird. We weren't able to tell. We didn't recognize the howling sound as any kind of like. Was it a creature? Was it just wind noise? Make a perception is that, check. Is that discernible? Yeah, make a perception check from the from the, the from in the brief instances that you kind of heard it as it was sort of whipping around. Damn. Hey, natural it's eighteen with, with an eighteen, oh learned professor. La, to to your ears, it sounded exactly like uh, the the way in which wind sounds as it sort of ricochets off of the cavern walls as it comes through, and okay. there wasn't and there wasn't enough of a variance to it or or pitch differentiation that it would be like oh something clearly is making that sound it's like no it this sounds like a naturally forming uh it's wind yes it's wind and that check was a breeze all right oh, so, oh my god yeah. uh whenever it's appropriate i will send um tempest out again for you know continuing checks just you know every 15 20 30 minutes you know brilliant Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so then, uh, friends, at this point, you can go ahead and take the long rest as we all settle down to have a dinner with Herrick, and this means that you now get all of your level three abilities, which yeah. is Bless. Lovely. You know what that means. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, that was a level two spell, so I probably wouldn't have been able to do that. 
Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whoops. No, I like it. I like it. You are, you were divinely inspired there. So, uh, but uh, as you go ahead and settle in for your rests, let's go ahead and set watches. Uh, well, I'll take a watch for sure. I'll uh, take um, one or two. I don't need a lot of time to sleep. So. Okay, excellent. So we'll have uh, uh, buddy go. So Xander goes first. Fairy L will be second, and one more watch. Uh, I'll Harry. take. Oh, Harry can if yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Herrick. Yeah, I'll, right. I'll, I'll do a watch. Yeah, uh, right, did we eat the good. food? What's that? <laughs> did, did we eat the food? You absolutely did. Yes. Good. And it was delicious. I got to figure was out some it, sort of like Herrick's feast or something. Yeah, yeah, I was just saying it'd be nice to <laughs> come up with something like if I like certain DCs like the, or whatever. Yeah, right? Like <laughs> it might do something. A yeah. lower level spell version of a hero's feast. Yeah, right? Like a yeah. sort of like a like a home cooked meal version of like a yeah. it's not a hero's feast. <laughs> no, you, like it's definitely it's average got adventurer's feast. Yeah, yeah right? What, uh, what y'all having? Crack cat surprise. Surprise, it's crack cat. <laughs> for, the, for the purposes of uh, of right now, let's say everyone gets uh, two temporary hit points. Just Ooh. For, Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Just to zazz um, it up a little bit. I will um, temporary Point. two. I will uh, in, uh, instruct Tempest. So after it's my watch and it's the other two. Uh, to you know, still do that loop, and if she sees anything, to come back and like you know raise hell to whoever is on watch. Excellent, excellent. Okay, I, great. I warned the group that I have set the trap at the start. Of the yes, game. yes. Thank you for that. Gosh, that, that'd be terrible if we forgot about the trap. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, first... I mean, now I want to wake up and have Flynn in the trap. We're like, okay, so check it out. This is not what it looks like. All right. All right. So first watch goes to Xander. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Xander, go ahead and roll a d20. Okay. 18. Excellent. Uh, roll a perception check. I would also like to point out that the uh, Reginald Ten. is sitting in a corner and he has taken out a large tome that you he probably doesn't hasn't taken out much before, uh, but it's got a big old lock on the front of it. Um, and he's going to spend a couple hours. He doesn't sleep during this rest is what I'm saying. It's going to take a couple mm. hours and... Uh, just look over this tome and uh, examine it. So I'm awake. Love it. That's, I see you're typing. That's a ten for my perception, DM. Yeah. No. So so yeah. With that ten, I say the first the first watch <clears throat> passes soundly. All right. Up next is Fariel. Fariel, roll a d20. And remember that I, I do have uh, Tempest yes. helping them. Yes, yeah, no, you do. That is, that is helping too. 14. 14, fantastic. Okay, great. And roll your perception check. Yeah. 21. Nice. Okay, with that, with that 21, like you're able to sort of, as, as Tempest sort of comes back in from the cold and she like really ruffles her feathers. So she's like almost two to three times her size. And whoo, 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 whoo. <laughs> have you ever have you ever seen an owl, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, they don't. Yeah. They don't. They don't go. <laughs> no, uh, no. Tempest does. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw one in like the Sword in the Stone, that Disney movie one time. Was it canon? <laughs> Can canon now, I guess. That checks out. <laughs> Tempest is just an animated owl. <laughs> Like, like a full-on Disney in a, owl. in a real world, yes. Yeah, better around. than a robot owl. I love it. Did you did you see that I made a token for her? I didn't. <gasps> you should check it out. It, she does look like an animated owl. I'm not gonna lie. But okay, so as and she just sort of sits there and fluffs her feathers and kind of looks at you like oh, this job, and then flies I, back out. I again. know. I like a nod there in agreement. Is. Yeah, love it, love it. Uh, okay, great. And last but certainly not least is Herrick. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Uh, lovely. Uh, that is fine. Go ahead and roll a perception. Fifteen. 
15. Tartine and 15. All right, yeah, again, like the night seems to pass soundly as if uh, nothing or whatever was sort of in this cave was not looking to come back out through the cave and thus and sundry. Um, so the night passes and you're all able to get the full effects of your long rest. Cool. Huzzah. Amazing. Yeah, right, all right. However, as the morning dawns, Tempest comes whoosh, like flying back in through the thing. And as, as you see Tempest come flying in, she's whoo, 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 like well, she's alerting and she's saying, she's like, I, she's like, I, I'm up by now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so, so then I she can be there well, now. So and I'm like at the cave. So she can actually telepath that to me and not have to hoot around. Absolutely. So as she starts to fly in, Flynn, you feel this spike in your skull as if something literally just took a dagger and plunged it into your head and you sit bolt upright. It's excruciating, the pain. Wasn't me this time. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, As a... (laughs) And so uh, as you do that and uh, Tempest comes flying in, uh, she's saying, wolves, wolves, wolves. How many? Uh, say, uh, and uh, four, four coming in off the ice. Four wolves coming off the ice. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that out loud to everyone. All right. And so How that, big? Tempest? Ooh. How big? And... Oh, she's like, big, very big. What? I say, what, what sort of, what sort of creatures would she have, have, uh, seen in her travels there, Budward? Well, I mean, we you said we've been here for easily a couple of years, so I mean, I'm sure that she has actually seen crag cats and, and wolves and big wolves. Mm. and. Well, then I'd say your situation's pretty dire. Oh. They, uh... oh, I knew it! Oh. I knew it! Yep. <laughs> and if I'm triggered, do we get time to react to that? Like, come Oh, on, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. So, somebody's going to do a trap roll. Absolutely. Yeah, oh no. Don't you say that's... That's what y'all was rolling for. All right, so... Um, Holy moly. They're here. And we would have yep, blocked yep. off the front of the cabin before they could get in. Yeah. Um, ha! Okay, good. With a 16, that they managed to avoid the trap. As That's, one, that's one of them. Is that all of them? All right, you're going to be trifling. Okay, so... There we go. There we go. All right. all right, so yeah. So that's 13, 14, and 11. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That means one of them. I swear fell. to God, if, if, if I can get through one yeah. fight without some one of, one of my. Four I mean that oh, that eleven know. one's in there, right? Oh yeah, it's, it's a DC thirteen. So what? Oh. Yeah. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> uh, I cannot move Tempest. I don't know if it's because oh. your token is on top of mine. Here, let me pop her over there. Is that? So yeah, I, one... I, actually, I I don't have move uh, move access for her. Damn. Okay. Whichever right, one is uh, stuck. Yes. So that that fourth four one there is points of damage. Oh, nicely done, you cheeky bastard. That's All maximum right. trap damage yeah. again, everyone. Maximum, maximum trap damage. Trap Ooh, MVP. Damage. All right, friends. So uh, as these so as these wolves sort of uh, sort of, like come like shuffling in, you hear the <laughs> the unmistakable sound <laughs> of the trap going off. As it sinks in, and one of them, just, and then the other four just come, chuckle come to myself, stalking in. back on the menu, boys. <sighs> and so they come in, and then like you could see like the the fog of their breath, <sighs> as having just come in from the outside, and the smoke and the heat from the cave itself. And then Flynn, <gasps> secret secrets. Oh no! <laughs> Y'all about to die? But take your headphones off. It'd be all right. <laughs> yeah, you fan. <laughs> I'm trying to cover my, head, my headphones up, but they're open back. <laughs> All right. So, as you, as each of the wolves come forward, you actually see a fifth wolf that is ethereal. It is shining, ice blue. It has a third eye on its forehead. And it says, 
you, as it looks at you, makes eye contact with you and says, reach out. To, to, to you or the other ones? <laughs> reach out. Uh, I'm going to physically reach out towards towards that one. Like, I'm actually going to try and like put like finger to the, to the third eye on it. Okay, and as, and, as, and as you see, as you go ahead and put that finger to that third eye of the wolf, like that pain in your head <sighs> recedes. It's gone like that. And as, oh. it, as it does that, you then feel this awareness from the crown of your head as it starts to glow and emanate out. Gotcha. Dig it. <laughs> so was this just so, a horrible dream that we all wake up from? Yeah, right. And then you all wake up, and you're back in Bryn Shander. No, sorry. <laughs> so no. As so then, as the wolves come forward, they're all sort of hungrily. <sighs> And you can tell um, if anyone wishes to make a perception check. Yeah. I, yeah. Nice. Mm, 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 mm. Nice. Okay. Ta -da -da. With that, over, uh, with those of you over 10, um, you're able to tell that these wolves look starved. They are hungry. And one of them seems to be walking with a little bit of a limp. Not the one in the trap. That one's going to have a limp now. But, uh, like, you know, it could eat its own leg to get out yeah, of the trap. Right, right. Uh, so, you got four. You'd be fine. Right. So, uh, but these wolves look absolutely hollowed. Is there any crag cat left? I was just about to ask that. Like they, the crack cat was big, right? We wouldn't. Oh yeah, no, it's yeah, a large it, it creature. Was, it was large. Yeah, if I don't. You get, yeah, I know. If the six of you manage to eat like a large creature, like you, you might be moving. We're not going anywhere today. For, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, I would like to do my best impression of Chris Pratt. <laughs> uh, all right. um, if I can, like, uh, you know, like see her off a piece of uh, crack cat and like walk towards the one in front. Just, okay. just throw it. I got, I got, hmm. You know what? If this wasn't, if these creatures weren't on my brand, like point to my shield. <laughs> <laughs> if this was not my people's crest, I would probably like, no, All I gotta, right. I gotta. All right. So where, to... where are you throwing or where, where are you handing the meat to? Like, how's this, how's this working? Um, I'm like, I'm going to like inch, uh, as, as long as like they haven't like jumped at me first. Yeah. I'm gonna inch towards the mouth of the cave and like throw it down in front of me, like about three feet in front of me. I know these things are large, but like yeah. So as you throw it down in front of you, the first one like like leaps for it hungrily and grabs it, and it then tries to like go ahead and like it retreats back into the cave and starts like gnawing at it, and then the other one tries to come forward and tries to get some of it too, and it like barks at it, and it and so like now now you got a big hungry dire wolf just mowing in the mouth of the cave. Oh, cool. Um, let's sear off a couple more and like throw and throw and throw. Okay, yeah. And as you're as you're tossing the as, as you're tossing the meat, um, it's, <laughs> so, <laughs> so you Just said it's a set, Saturday night. Saturday night, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, <laughs> cold hard twitch. All right. Um, so, uh, throwing the meat down the hallway as it, the, each of the wolves sort of goes for it and starts just tearing into it a little bit, but you now have three huge dire wolves that are, uh, sorry, large dire wolves that are snacking in the only exit you have from the cave. Um, okay. I've got a dumb idea if, but I need someone to back me up with it. Oh, I, the, I, as a DM, I love hearing those words. <laughs> What's your idea, Flynn? So, and how um, dumb is it? <laughs> oh, it's pretty dumb. Um, I want to cut down the fourth one, uh, give it some crack cat meat, and then uh, cut off a larger, a large. I'm ex I, this is like a like a big thing. We've got real estate to like carve off from this carcass, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, having having skinned the cat, it is like Craig meat buffet going on here. That's yeah. Um. I want to uh, I want to cut down the 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 one at the trap and then uh leave like a like a larger chunk for them to like 
to, to bait them out further away from the door of the cave. Okay. Did they not find the entire other one we left for them over by the other boat? That one's cold. That's true. It's probably frozen at this point. So, okay, that actually is a good point on on both counts. So, carry right. on. <laughs> so, right. so in, anyone to follow me out with? I'll I'll, wait, I'll do wait, it. What was All right. Doing? So how so how are you drawing the wolves out from the? Because here's the thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no. Hold on, I don't want to get near. What if what if you draw them further in? Like if we go on one side and then they come into the cave and then we just leave. Well, like that's better because my my idea was just to tiptoe past them. <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking if we all like get to one out. side and you lure them around the other side, then we just kind of you know and out. Yeah, we all just kind of dosy do around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I'm liking that. How do we deal with the one that's trapped at the front? Do we bring it some meat while we get it out of the trap? Yes, uh, that way it doesn't bite us as it comes down, and then you throw another piece in the cave, and it'll follow it to the rest of them. Is it trying to get out itself by now? And obviously, six seconds have got have gone. Yeah, right. Yeah. So keep try to get out again. Hopefully, it might kill itself. Yeah, right. I thought you might have so much meat. No. Um, all right. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, let me show you where is that. Nope. That is that is my typical role for a uh, for, for a trap check on that bad boy. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. So he's he's still stuck in the trap. You he hear takes, him sort of whining he, a little bit. He takes more damage. What? Yeah, yeah, there's a damage. You know, I'm gonna get busted for animal cruelty, honestly. Must use an action to make a DC 13 strength check. What? Three in itself. Each foul check deals one piercing damage. All right then. So it takes one more piercing damage. Lovely. Okay, so everyone, everyone, get to one side of the cave. All right, the opposite side north, where north? the crack cat is. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming the crack cat's like north, here. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go all the way over. Well, but, if if the cat was here, though, if the cat's here. Then we, we should go to the here. south. We should go down. Okay. Well, good because I'm staying where I was. Okay, so I'm gonna um reach out uh towards the the, the larger carcass of uh the crack cat um and uh if, like um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out and and um like while keeping the eyes on with with the with the uh with the wolves in the front of the cave I'm gonna um not the reaction I will <laughs> uh move or grasp the crab cat or crab cat with a force that I've not felt until I've started wandering around Icewind Dale as being in this place sort of has like changed All right, and so what are we, we seeing right now from Flynn is he just like sort of like hands out like doing that like luke skywalker upside down in the wampa cave like like sort of trying to get the hand tremor going yeah yeah there's like there's like the little rocks around me are starting to float up into the air um as uh, uh as <laughs> as i extend my extend what will i have out around the crack cat and push it along the grounds of the cave further and further back into it all right so, uh, so as as you, so as the entire party sort of sees Flynn, like everyone, get to one side. <laughs> he just sort of like puts his hand out like this and is like reaching for the cat, and everyone else is kind of like, "I'm I can't imagine what this looks like to you. You guys think the fighter has lost his damn mind?" Yep. But does something happen? And that's when something happens. Slowly, so, so, the, cat, the carcass lifts. As if suspended by 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 the sheer will of Flynn, and it sort of floats in the air there. And then Flynn, you've got it suspended in the air. You can move it thirty feet. Uh, so it's one, two, three. Try right here. Yeah, if you could move my owl out of the way, that'd be great. <laughs> 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 All right, so you go ahead and put that carcass right there. Yep. Boom. Okay, great. So as he's moving it, I'm going to look over to Herrick and go, 
So apparently you're not the only one with new things now. Oh, I've never I, seen I that in my life. Do we know what that is? As he does that, the so as he moves the carcass over, the wolf kind of boom, like pushes past him and starts to like attack the carcass. Uh, Flynn, go ahead and make a deck save for me. Ooh, that's what I'm built for. <laughs> yeah, and that's the one you're gonna fail. Just so you know that. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't you say that. Yeah. Don't don't you say that. Oh god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so Flynn is so focused on that carcass. He's moving it. He's just like, guys, so good. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And then the wolf hit like bum rushes in from the back and just, <laughs> he falls. And the like you see the car you see the cork it corcus? The carcass Corcus. just sort of drop to the ground with a wet splat and as it does that the wolf like hungrily attacks shortly followed by, by the other two dire wolves that begin to feast on the carcass itself and they make short work uh, as they're mowing on it <laughs> and it's, uh, did did we save some to give to the other one or is the, other one, is the other one out yet let's check it's certainly been six seconds and hopefully it doesn't fail at life. All right. Come on, crank it. <laughs> nope. 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 That wolf is... Nope. Do you have any meat left? Yeah, I've got one piece left. I can... Because my plan was to go feed it to the one on the, on the ridge anyway, so... Yeah, let's, let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, those of us with dogs know how long it takes for them to eat. Yeah, piece of meat. So, double mean, time. Yeah. yeah. Hustle uh, your bustle. They don't as, usually as chew. That's why I was going to go see if my little dexterous hands can open the trap quickly. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yep. Let's, let's go. I'm yep. letting y'all go first. I'm going to come on, Zalvana. Come on, Tempest. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so Flynn, you're looking to let's say so you're gonna go ahead it. and do the handoff with the meat and fariel you're think, trying yeah, to yeah i think we're gonna try to teamwork this dig um, it if okay Lynn can try to distract i'm gonna see if i can pop the trap and Har okay Har okay. will speak the words author raccoon and give you guidance excellent okay yes. so uh fariel with uh, that plus three from guidance uh well, go ahead uh, so flynn can you it's make a me four right yeah yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, sorry, D4. Uh, and then, <laughs> bold of me just to give you the plus three off the bat. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> hey, right? Law of averages. All right, uh, Flynn, go ahead and give me an animal handling roll. And Fariel, uh, do, your, do your, I guess, sleight of hand or trap? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, work, work your trap. Ooh. Oh, well, it's average. That's average. It's okay. Good. There it is. Add that D4 to that. Oops, I rolled four of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the four. I'll just the dir the dirty 20 the three, alone yeah. would certainly do it. But all right. So, so uh, just so everyone at home clocks that, she rolled 44 and rolled five. Yeah. I rolled, yeah. Rolled but five. I got a dirty 20 on the yeah, initial. Yeah. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I was we're just looking for the four, so I just clicked four instead so, of the D4. <laughs> we're, just, we're just keeping up with our, our one trap. rolling streak. As you release the trap, the wolf instinctually pulls his leg out from it, but he's so focused on the food that he's starting to mount a little bit. Um, now, he's still in your way, though. Pick up my trap. Uh, yeah, everybody duck, uh, and I'm going to throw this piece of meat towards the... Um... Press the wall. <laughs> towards the cave. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. I'm going to get run over. Yeah, no, that's just, remember when you said the plan was crazy? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. All right. It, you brought right. the crazy back. We yep. were, yep, we were, well, I'm that's here fine. for it. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Harrick didn't hear the duck thing. He just bent down yeah. to pick up his experience. All right. So, uh, Ben <laughs> goes ahead and tosses, uh, the meat down the cave. And as he does that, Wolf, uh, goes for it. Now, do you have another piece of meat that you're throwing down the cave or the same piece of meat? This, did, did he, did, did the wolf, uh, bite onto the one that I was trying to give? Like, oh, yeah, he did with that, okay, with well, that animal then. handling. Well, that, that basically that check was to make sure you didn't lose your hand. So oh, okay, well, th then I've got no other food items. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. Um, if I have a ration, yeah, I do. I will throw a ration. <laughs> yeah, okay. I got a ration. <laughs> you throw the ration, and the wolf like goes for it because he's hungry. I need. <laughs> 
Let's see here. Uh, I've been so down. Many, so many deck saves. Yeah, basically everybody in the damn party make a deck save. Oh dear. Uh, as the wolf goes to chase this thing. All right. <laughs> Great. He runs that and. <laughs> Yeah, 13. That's All right, not so that bad. I love, I love how the dex build is rolling low on these. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's so uh, I got Xander. I've got Flynn at the 6. Uh, and Flynn with an 8. Herrick with an 11. Uh, Fariel with an 18. The Professor with a 13. 13. Well done. Yeah, I just want to go ahead and lodge a complaint that is bullshit. The professor is rolling so well on these. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. Just scaled up here like no problem. I, call, no, I don't like, know shenanigans. Every, no, everything's <laughs> fine. He's like, right. he's just and, a spry fifty-year-old man. All right, anyone who guys, rolled up, uh, anyone who on. rolled under ten, uh, you're gonna go ahead and take four bludgeon damage as the wolf just sort of shoulders past you and. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I, I should roll for a uh, uh, Silvana. What is? What is? Oh, but we have tips. Silvana had advantage oh, well. because. <laughs> yeah. I said, well, Silvana at least rolled a ten, so she's. Yeah, good. and she has a plus four. Oh, brilliant! All right then. So yeah. So uh, the wolf. Now, uh, y'all gonna hang out while they try to finish uh, the, the the Craig feast? Oh yeah, no. sure. We're just gonna no. stick around here, try to you know make friends. No. Hell no. <laughs> yep. All right. So, as long as I've picked up me trap. Yeah, so yeah, uh, the wolf being out of it, you are free to pick that one up without any sort of, without any issue. And you start to make your way down the cliff. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. Taste. <laughs> Nicely handled. So uh, as you do that, the wolves are going to feast. And as they feast, you can go ahead and move yourselves past and down the cliff. Go ahead. Um, because you're because you're moving hastily, everyone just roll an athletics check for me. Uh, Herrick, with your climbing kit, you're good. Okay. Damn, Xander, with a 19. Flipper. It's actually a crit. That, yeah, that's a crit. Nice, nice. You got two crits nice. on that one. And look, and that's that's everybody passed. I'm gonna have. Oh nope, that's a D10. That's not real. Uh. Oof, Sylvana rolled a five, but with that party roll of like... Yeah, we had two natural 20s on yeah, that roll. Yeah, two crits, yeah. and uh, everyone else above the 10. The, the party's able to make their way down the cliffside. Excellent. All right, friends, which way are you heading? To the next guy. Uh, uh, I vote south to the to the frozen river, but... To the easier one? Yeah, yeah because we're going to be in a climbing position to get in the other ones again. Yep. Oh, I didn't realize it was the south. Um, how how tall is it going in into the this kind of southerly entrance? Ah, so uh, as you go ahead and enter, so we're well, we're not entering yet. I just want to know how tall it is. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, where the cavern that you were in previously had like twenty foot tall ceilings and it was pretty spacious in mm -hmm. for a natural forming cave. This looks to be at least double that in size. Uh, the caverns are high as you're uh, walking through here. Then I, I want to send um, uh, Tempest in to kind of pre-scout for us a little bit. Excellent. And let us know if it's clear. I, I think we want to at least get around the the mouth of it here to get away from the big four mouths up here. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check as Tempest moves. What's that? Boop. There we go. Tempest right there. All right, so uh, roll me that perception check as Tempest moves. Uh, 17. 17. Okay, with a 17, Tempest is able to discern that there are, in fact, um, there are tracks uh, in this in this cave uh, as she starts to fly in. So uh, nothing. Can, can she tell about what size tracks they are? Are they, are they wolf tracks? Are they people tracks? Uh, so as she kind of pulls down and gets closer to it, it looks to be that, that same sort of, uh, shambling gate that you guys saw earlier out on the ice that she's able to. So she says to you, uh, human, human. So they're the footprints from Adam, Adam near the, the boat, she says, mm -hmm. lead this way. So should we press in a little? Yeah. I'll move up. Yeah. Yeah, and so we'll. I think that we'll play this uh, game, DM. We'll let her leapfrog out ahead, right? Fifty feet, and kind of take a look and report back. Yeah, no, I love that. 
look at y'all playing nice and smart. I love that. So she goes 10, 20. 50 feet, you said? Yeah, 50-ish. Okay, okay. Uh, she says uh, same thing again. I say that the, the tracks seem to uh, follow along this, this frozen riverbed. Uh, as those of you uh, who have have the dark vision uh, move into this this cavern and this tunnel here you see that the, the caves here the tunnel is about 30 feet high um, and though when it opens up uh, it'll be it seems to be a little bit bigger the entire surface is actually ice so um, hopefully so it, it does seem like frozen river frozen liquid water absolutely and I said it seems as if you're walking along a, a frozen river as is it, it like does it seem like super thick uh yeah it does seem like it's been about two years of a, of of uh a... so this is like rhyme frozen. Oh, for, yeah this is some rhyme ice right here um uh, like as you uh <laughs> <laughs> as you uh, as you're walking out on it like you don't hear the sort of deep sort of or like pops or cracks that you would hear on ice that you would consider to be suspect um but the cavern itself like there is very little light as you go through it is is dark dark and dark and now you hear that moaning quality of the wind again that as it comes through again and that wind sort of hits y'all and whether it's the sound or the wind itself or just the darkness like it this is uh, has a very foreboding quality is the professor the only one at this moment that doesn't have dark vision? To my knowledge. Yes. Okay. I'm going to... Well, I was going to say, I, I'm going to come over next to the professor, and I will I will kind of hand on his shoulder, since we can all see except for him, just to help him get through. Uh, is anyone opposed to me making some light? Well, I made oh. light but with my sword, but then they put it out. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. It, I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Your gloves were very pretty. It, I'm your, okay your wandering sword, in like... the dark if we'd prefer to not announce our presence, but if we don't mind, I would like to see a little illumination. Jim. I've had dark vision for like three days, so I, I couldn't... I, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm okay with whatever. I mean, what do you guys <laughs> right. think? I could make you see, but I can only do it once a day. Well, That's then let's fine. light it up. How, say, how I long got... does that last? An hour. We might save that until we're further in. Yeah. No, I, I can think... do I can do ten minutes at a time. So I'm just gonna hold out my hand and give myself a little fireball, and cast produce flame. Cool. Excellent. Uh, all right, so then, yeah, we'll. I guess we'll move up to her position and then leapfrog her out again. Brilliant. All right. So as as so as she sort of sees you coming around the corner, Xander, she's like, Hoo -hoo, and she again takes off. And she's like, I know, I know, I'm moving, I'm moving. Are you sure she doesn't go? <laughs> she goes. She goes. <laughs> <laughs> she was a horse in her last incarnation. Yeah, right. She's been a horse. She's been a monkey. I heard. Earlier. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Oh, oh, monkey owl. All right, and then that's uh, ten. Also, you missed the opportunity to make your familiar a monkey, and now I'm disappointed with you. <laughs> hey. Hey, monkeys, better. monkeys don't get flyby. Yeah, that joke had very little appeal. All right. Mm. All right. So uh, as she sails, how's on, it going, Salvana? Are you back there in the back? Yeah, like, <laughs> it's so dark. Okay. Um, oh. So uh, as as you push on ahead, uh, Tempest uh, alerts you, Xander. She's like, "There's there's a waterfall, a frozen waterfall, frozen waterfall ahead," and then. Okay. On sure. which way? Is there like a lake then? A bigger body of water, or and... still just a waterfall? Yeah. So <laughs> as you as you come around that corner there, you do see indeed it, it, uh... what what appears to be just sort of a, a, a 
10 foot wall of ice is actually like a it's a frozen so it's a we're at, we're at the, the low portion of it uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's 10 10 feet up from us to the crest yeah okay. 10 feet up from uh, that up there and mm. she's like and then you as, as she sees you sort of coming to the base of the waterfall she says there's there's a break a, a path to the right all right I, i'm going to tell her just to to hold off for a moment i i'd love for her to be able to get kind of here so we can open this vision up all right she says meow all right <laughs> <laughs> okay all with an identify uh, with an identity crisis what do you want all right um, I'm going to ask her to look for, is there a point up there that if we, if we gave her the end of a rope that was tied in a loop, if she could loop rope on, is there like a, like a rock outcropping or something that she could loop a rope on? She said on? it was a path, didn't she? Up here. Oh, up here. Yeah. But we, so, still have to, we still have to get up 10 feet. It's only so, 10 feet. So she kind of. The professor's an excellent climber. Wait. <laughs> oh, wait. I have that's something for true. this. <laughs> Sorry. I think I have something for this. I jump up and reach the ledge and pull myself up. Can you jump then? <laughs> so in terms of uh, trying He's to like tie jump, something right? off, like she sort of looks at you and she's like, oh, 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 oh. "Do I have anything for this?" Um, well, I mean, she wouldn't be tying it; she would be dropping a loop onto a a pin. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, that that's a little a, different. <laughs> this a is like stalagmite. on a Disney boat. Like you expecting me to like tie a bow on something here? It's like. <laughs> Al got opposable thumbs. I mean, I guess the other thing is if everybody just thinks we can climb it, then we can just climb it. But I mean, it's it's. I can, I guess we, I know. we climbed twenty feet last night. Well, um, I think I've got an jump. idea. <laughs> oh, good, um, ooh, good, <laughs> good. You're the idea, man. Okay, I'm running, to, I'm running and jumping and grabbing the um, ledge. Yeah. Okay, well, hold on, watch this first. Eat the dwarf. Eat the dwarf. Sorry. Are you, are you gonna jump? Oh yeah. my gosh! Are you gonna fling Herrick? Well, I wasn't gonna fling him, but if he's yeah. gonna jump, I wanna watch. I mean, him. he's, he's flinging the door. It's, what, you, it's so. what you do. All right, how we how how are we doing this? I, I, Herrick said he's gonna run and jump, so we're gonna, watching. <laughs> Eggs himself on and cast guidance on himself, and I will uh, <laughs> oh run and God. jump and try and catch the ledge. Out of the way. Pop popcorn and uh, <laughs> snack and watch this. <laughs> you stand next to the professor and just like Athletics. hand it to the. <laughs> Okay, so the plan is for Herrick the dwarf no, to he jump. He just does it. There's no plan. He's just doing. There's no, no plan. Yeah. <laughs> this is not okay. like an agreed upon. Like we hey, thought. As this long out. as we acknowledge that, that's what I want. Okay, good. He hits the wall. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh my god! So I... <laughs> so you all see Herrick just like. Hang on a minute. And he just sort of like he revs up a little bit, like kicks some 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 of the ice behind him, and then just full on charges the wall, and like a goddamn Looney Tune. He... <laughs> the thing about it, dwarves, isn't it? Like they hit, just hit a wall, get stuck oh. in windows. I attempt to disbelieve the waterfall. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, that was that was a, that was obviously that wasn't intentional. So I just got to pull out pull out some pitons, and like hit them in a wall, and then start climbing up. So, as Eric, you... are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm good, thank you. Okay, so for the rest of us that don't have climbing gear, what I want to do is, um, the pittons gonna... stay in the wall. The pittons will stay in the wall for you guys to climb up. Oh, for everyone else? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, that's... as Herrick punches into the wall, it cracks. And it sort of shatters, tumbles down a little bit, and like a big, big old, sh a whole lot of sheet falls down. Uh, and in into the rock wall. Two stupid ideas. Fr yeah, fr from the waterfall itself. Uh, so it sort of cr crumbles down onto that little ten foot on, on the lower level of the ten feet, and then emerging from this shattered uh, waterfall is this creature. No, oh, good. But it's sort of. I guess I'm not. How did he break the waterfall if it was he, in the wall? He ran into it. <laughs> By the pit and he just face planted into the side. He of literally it. tried to jump it and ran into it. They said he was hard headed. <laughs> I did not believe them. They was right. <laughs> ha! I sprung the trap. And I <laughs> That was my plan the whole time I didn't have a plan. Oh, I knew it was right. a trap. Love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. You are uh, the trap expert. So friends. 
for the first time, let's go ahead and roll initiative. Let's do it. Eight. Oh, eight. Oh. Ooh. Well, you know, the great thing is that Ryan doesn't have a tracker open, so it's not all going into the Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sass and me. All right. Here we go. Track. Boom. Hey, it worked. Boom. It, 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 uh, it filled in. It auto loads. But no, no, no. Uh, does my familiar act on its own initiative? I don't I, remember. Let me look at I believe it. technically, but that's really complicated. Yeah. I, think I it's believe so, but I hate it. You. So. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> if, if, if it can just go with me, then that's fine. All right. So let's do this and just uh, has. Oh, wait. Uh, I Zolf, imagine. Zolf, I accidentally uh, rolled twice. Yeah, Zol Zolvana. What? You trifling? All right. Yep. So, <laughs> no, no, not, nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I'm not mad at you. Yeah. Let's take his first roll, which is 2316 instead of 816. All right, so let me pull up. Zalvana. Please stand by, friends, as we. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, the, the. Love, I can't believe you just ran yourself into that wall. Uh, this, this is why I love this game. Zalvana with a one is bringing up the rear. Oh, my hey. goodness. That is the saddest Zelvana run I've ever seen in my life. So we had a crit success and a crit fail on that. <laughs> two, two crit fails. We had two crit fails. Oh, yeah. even better. Because. Oh, oh, that's right. One of them was me. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah. All I'd right. already blocked it out. And then what about this water? The, the water what weir, about the water wire? wire? The water, oh, don't worry, it's about to get weird. So, um, he, yes, so and I'll, I'll roll the initiative for the water weird as well. And then let's also, you know what, just because it's it's that time of the day. Let's get some music going. Just because it's that time of the day, the dire wolves come down to see what all the noise was. Oh, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh man! Of course, now that we fed them, they're our pets. So, <laughs> is, that, is that not true? You you know what? You can think that. I want you. To, I want you to believe. That's what I want you to do. You should. Uh, I, well, I do believe that you should look in the chat. All right. All right. <laughs> the Zoom. Are you? Are you sassing me now? All right. No. So, no, I'm not trying to sass you. Roll. Boom, boom. All right. Lovely. Lord in heaven. All right. Oh, my. Top of the list is Herrick Oakenbane. So, Herrick. really? I thought Flynn. Top of the list will be me. Flynn with 2316. Oh, 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 because you had the. Because oh, I, I goofed it roll twice. twice. Yeah. All right, then. Let's. It took let us, let us, yeah. let us, yeah. Just so you know, if you do roll twice and you cock it up because of that, you can click on the number in the initiative tracker yourself. Only your own. Oh, ah, okay. Okay. All right. But so, it gets interrupted if someone now, else is trying to do it. We're uh, we're uh, we're back in the back in the way of it. All right. So, top of the order is Flynn, Tiberius, Yams. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna walk up to this thing. I'm gonna hit it with my crossbow. <laughs> um, Your uh, freshly strung crossbow. I love yeah. that. <laughs> not freshly strung for long. Oh, don't <laughs> say, don't say that. <laughs> Uh, well, it's a ten. Uh, so, uh, and that the ten, as the creature sort of like undulates as you fire at it, and the arrow goes wide, does not oh. hit. Uh, well, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's me. So, anybody else want to do something? All right. So, uh, next up is Herrick. Uh, Herrick with his newfound powers. Will uh, no no no. What do I want to do? So uh, 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 I can't cast a spell. Two spells, can I? It's only no. So you can cast a cantrip and then a bonus action. Yeah. Or uh, or or a single action spell, unless you have um, oh, is it quickened that I think allows you to do? Yeah. Okay, he will hit it first or attempt to hit it 
All right. Uh, da, 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 with that one there. All right, so currently on the map. Well, okay, you know, so yeah, you know, the water weird has appeared from out there, and Her yeah, Herrick is right next to it. So that's that's 12, good. We'll so with miss. that 12, however, it is going to be a miss. Oh, okay, and then after that. This is going well. Yeah, he will speak the words and say, Sesti <laughs> Volond. And a spiritual weapon will appear. Brilliant. What is the shape of your spiritual weapon? It is multiple shapes. It is basically loads of sharp sapphire rocks just spinning around in a circle that will just batter the creature. I love it. I love it. Okay, so. It's too bad. I was thinking it was a giant pepper mill and it would just, it would twist. <laughs> Yeah. Up pepper rocks on them. I like it. I like it so much. All right, so uh, roll that magic weapon. Yeah, funny miss. Yeah, that spirit weapon. You missed it well. Oh, swinging a miss from all sides. Man. All right, up next is the creature known as the Water Weird. Uh, so the Water Weird, having seen Flynn, it's going to sort of undulate. And then as as Herrick tries to take both shots at it, the creature is going to attempt to attack. Eric. So it reaches out and sort of engulfs him with a natural, with a with a with a dirty twenty. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, heard the intake Oof. of the party there. Um, uh, and so as it does this, it sort of engulf like engulfs him inside itself, uh, and it's going to attempt to sort of start to squeeze him inside this 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 water. I'm sorry. Who who does it have? It's got uh, Herrick. So it will constrict. And you will take 12 bludgeoning damage. Oh, boy. Oof. Uh, you are currently grappled. Uh, and uh, it is and it is currently wrapped around you. Uh, you are restrained as it tries to drown you inside of itself. Okay. I think we all know people like that. All right. Who's, who's, so, who's messing is, with that mic? Who's messing with what? Mike. Are you messing with my mic? <laughs> Was it the bird? <laughs> no, okay. Uh, so that's Xander me. is up next. Yeah. As, right, so, so Xander, you see this creature like engulf Herrick, and then like as he as it sort of swallows him whole, you see like his fingers try to reach out from inside the the weird, and it's like it's really sort of pulled back in, as if you're sort of trapped in a, a swirling whirlwind of water. Uh Gosh. All right. So if I attack with a weapon, am I at risk of hitting Herrick since this thing is made of water? Uh, it is made of water. Uh, I, it's a large creature, though. So uh, you, you could certainly take a swing at it. And unless you totally boff it, then I would say that you you wouldn't hit him. It, have you met me? <laughs> I mean, we had we had two nat fails in the initiative order here, friends. So uh, right. the night is young. I am going to have uh, Tempest do a flyby and take the help action. Excellent. Which so should can... give me a rapier attack with advantage. All right. And so I will come up to here and I will advent. Why is that not giving me the advantage button? That's peculiar. Technology, everyone. There it, is. there it is, there it is. There it goes. Yes! Oh, Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a critical hit from the rapier. All right, roll that beautiful damage. It's for 17. Excellent. Uh, as you go ahead and stick the rapier into the creature and then bring it across and this beautiful sort of slashing flourish, like it hits. And where it seems to tear the water, it sort of goes back together again. Um, like it, it, the creature reacts to it, but it doesn't seem to do as much damage as you think it should have. Uh, now, are you sure about that? Since I am using a magic weapon, is it a magic weapon? It's absolutely a magic weapon. It's a it's a moon touch rapier. It is. Yeah, it shouldn't be, but it is deemed as magical. Yeah, raw baby. It is. <laughs> okay. Absolutely, it is, but it shouldn't be. Yeah, me and Peter. Yeah, and Sean it's it's, that's, it's, that's a DM call. <laughs> yeah, uh, so wait, so you, you're talking about the, the common magic item? Well, there it is. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. All right. Because it's not mundane. 
All right, all right. I'll, 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 I will give you that on, on the on the technicality there. So there it is. All right, so that 17, and what I meant to say was, as you stab it and sort of bring it around this beautiful flourish, it hits. And while the creature initially thought, this shouldn't hurt me at all, it then went, oh my god! <laughs> like that moment where you give yourself a paper cut, and you're like, it's not that bad, and then it starts to bleed. All right? Now, now, if I hear him say, that thing's magical? Yeah. I'm, uh, I am in touch with that. Well, he did say that, but he went... <laughs> So. Is it Scooby Doo? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, exactly. Yeah. What does it does it speak? Because there's a chance I understand it. <laughs> um, it doesn't speak. Okay. But it certainly, but it it, it kind of gurgles a little bit. So. Mm, gross. Okay. Good. <laughs> that being said, Professor. All right. I got a. I got something new I want to try. <laughs> I got something for you. Good. Um, I've put myself between you and it. This makes me feel great. Yep. I'm going to say, boy, I hope this works. And my mutter, Don the Ajuk Nugnud. And I'm going to try casting Shillelagh. Oh. Boom. Okay. Yeah, with a 21, that definitely. So, what are you hitting it with? Uh, I have my my like my walking stick club okay, I, thing I like, that I carry. Tell me, you're beating it to death with the tome that you were reading earlier. No, 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 no. So I've got yeah, I've that got would my be epic. Frame though. In my I would love that. I've got my <laughs> read books. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my my cane in the other hand, and I'm gonna smack it with a cane. Excellent. With that 21, that is a definite hit. Roll uh, 11 bludgeoning, magical nice. bludgeoning damage. That, yeah, magical, <laughs> magical bludgeoning damage. Maximum. Magical bludgeoning damage. D and D, ladies and gentlemen. All right, yeah, that definitely like that connects solidly with the creature. Is is it dead yet? <laughs> Fairy, <laughs> you. Okay, um, these spaces are a little wonky. Is there a gap here between Herrick and? Yes, there is. Uh, okay. Right there in between the two. Yep. No, sorry, I probably should have moved before I attacked with a melee attack. I mean, I I so knew you could get there. How I, I believe. Oh, God, sorry. Uh, there was a lot of bird panic that just happened. It sure was. <laughs> sure was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll move over here just to put a little distance between myself and this water weird. And um, I'll just fire an arrow at it. Excellent. So as you move uh, out of the way there, the water weird is going to go ahead and take an attack of opportunity. Oh, was I up against it? I was here. You were not, but the creature has reached. Okay. Uh, oh, but, but, uh, nope, Still never mind. It, it, it's a, it, it cannot while it is currently constricting a creature. So you're good, actually. Oof. Good on you. Okay. But it thinks about it. And it kind of gives you one of these. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and do your thing. Yes, that's what I'm liking to see. Okay, short bow, definitely with a 24, will hit. All right. Uh, it, it is engaged, so you go ahead and get your sneak attack damage, which brings you up to a total of 13, is what I'm seeing. Yep. Lovely. Uh, okay, so that 13 shot goes in and the arrow hits and then sort of doof, kind of slows down as it hits the velocity, as, it, as the velocity is uh, hampered by the water. And so what should be really solid 13 points of damage seems to be reduced. Yeah, I figured as much, but I mean, that's all right, I got. Right? Man, everybody has magic women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you okayed it when I took it. <laughs> I did. I did. Wasted on my own patad. All right, friends, and we are back. Oh, no, and now we are Zolvana. Zolvana. All right, so Zolvana, upon seeing all of her friends uh, struggle bus a little bit, she's going to go ahead and uh, grant. I critted. Who's struggle bussing? <laughs> the rest of us. You remember, remember those first two swings out the gate? <laughs> um, she is going to go ahead and. Ooh. What, is, what is she going to do? Um, oh, she's going to uh, cash. Cast vicious mockery uh, on the creature, and so it will need to make a wisdom saving throw because Ryan loves doing those. How much? How might she mock it? 
What's that? How might she mock it? Oh, you can't understand this, Aquan. She speaks his language? Oh, so uh, it rolled a six on that wisdom save. And she nice. says, you know what? You're a real drip. And uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> blah, blah. Sorry, everyone. That was my fault. I asked for yeah, that. Yeah, yes, you, you did. You gotta ask for it. So Why do you do this to me? <laughs> Why? So how much damage does it take? Uh, it will take, <laughs> take that one. Was- Dirty. One psychic damage. Oh, yeah. it was on the floor. Appropriate. <laughs> <It> was, <laughs> yeah, right. So close. Uh, and then she herself, is, and that's going to be. Uh, oh no! And then she'll use her bonus action to give Flynn inspiration. Ooh, so, hell yeah! Flynn, you've got a uh, D6 inspiration. It'll last for ten minutes. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm gonna uh, step. Well, let's see how far this is. Because I can only move 30 feet. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm gonna come and occupy the space right in front of the water weird here. Uh, swapping out for my rapiers. And gonna go in for my. Fr- so, with you swapping out your rapiers, do you have the dual wielder feet that allows you to draw? I- do yes, I, I made it. sure okay. I made sure to take tool wielder when I decided. That's all right. To that's, all right. that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> no shame to the game. Yeah. All right. Uh, so do you do your thing? All right. I'm gonna go for the first one. Nice. Nice. That's a hit. All right. Uh, and that's gonna be to do eight damage. All right. Now, because I've been fooled before. Are these just normal rapier attacks? Oh, these are normal rapier attacks. But wait, there's more. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, as uh, as uh, my first rapier cuts through the water, um, mm-hmm. uh, Flynn's eyes are gonna glow, and almost as like a, uh, um, almost like like a full um, like wolf pelt headdress um, appears nice. like like uh appears like, like slightly above him in like a crystal like a, like a transparent crystal blue and it's going to be like an after effect following the sword through as i do a psychic strike lo- um with this attack nice for 16 holy, hit holy smoke 16 to- okay i was like to that's, hit. Is that to, the damage to, no, to right. hit to All hit right, so yes the 16 will hit <laughs> With another three damage. So, so okay. So the initial eight plus the three, uh, it will absolutely take all three of that damage. So that is a whopping. All right. Seven. So yes. So yeah, it takes a total of seven damage from that attack, and it. So as the initial sort of cut goes through, and then you, you this headdress appears, and it just this shot of blue energy goes into the water, and it it sort of like blows it apart from the inside a little bit and it sounds a little bit like an orca. I was working that between them. Yeah. <laughs> Whale. All right. So uh, up next is Herrick. Okay. Uh, so you are currently drowning. restrained inside the creature. So and... you can go ahead and try to break out. Is there but anything your I can't rolls... do in this? Or could I cast verbal spells? So, uh, attack rolls against creatures uh, against you have advantage, uh, and then your attack rolls have disadvantage. Um, that's disadvantage. And you have dis- disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. But other than that, is, well, so you're currently engulfed in the water, so any sort of any spell that has like a verbal component to it is going to be a, a little tricky for me to it's gonna be hard for me to swallow. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I will first try to hit it with the spiritual weapon. Oh, excellent! Yes, because that's outside. Missed. Damn. And what do I need to do to try and get out? Sorry. Oh, uh, you can go ahead and try to make a, uh, a, a grapple check. So that okay, would be it's... strength check. If I'm not mistaken. No, it had no. So grapple is uh, athletics. Yes, so make an athletics check. Is there not anything else I can do? Athle- athletics or acro. Yeah. yeah I, I imagine Herrick's not too great at acro, but you can certainly do he's, acro as well. He's not great at the other one either. Thank you. <laughs> mm. 
Colin, you can do it. I believe in you. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I can do. Athletics. 20. Boom. Nice. With 30, a dirty 20. 20. So as that psychic blast went through, boom, it created this pocket of air for you to catch your breath. And you, and as you do that, you then sit there and go, and you're able to use that sort of air as it comes back in and claps. You use that to sort of blast yourself back out and you are free of the creature. Cool. And uh, and adjacent, does that move him? Uh, I would, yeah, I put him right next to it. Yeah. All right, and that um, is your turn, yep. Eric. Correct. Lovely. The water weird goes. Uh, having dare, having dare just it to do it again. Spit you back out. Uh, it is actually going to try to uh, uh, having just been hit by Flynn for whatever the hell that magic was. It did not like that at all. It's going to attempt to constrict Flynn. So. It will attack and roll a 12, which I imagine does not break your AC, does it, Flynn? Nope, does not. Nope. It would nope. hit Reginald. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It would have gone for Reginald. All right, so with that, as uh, it tries to engulf you, you manage to sort of dip, dodge, and like slice your way away from it, and it, it does not grapple you. And that brings us up to Xander. Uh, I am going to use uh, the help action again from uh, Tempest. Excellent. And advantage. And I'm gonna hit it with, or I'm gonna try to hit it with my rapiers. Twenty-two. Twenty-two will hit for four points of damage. All right, four points of damage it takes. All right. This thing oh, is looking a bit weary as it sort of... Is it looking pretty weird? <laughs> yeah. It's looking uh, looking a bit sloshed, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Up next is the so <laughs> I'm going to take another swing at this thing with my, my little uh, walking stick club. Yeah, yeah, shillelagh that bad boy. Oof, the Ooh, nine, nine, however. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Uh, I don't think I have any other bonus actions. All right. Not that I want to do right now. So. <laughs> Not that I want to. All yeah. right. Ariel. Okay. Um, all my friends are gathered all around this guy. Um, what is the you get sneak for all of us? Yeah, I think that's how the sneak decks. Mm. Oh, you... <laughs> it's it's one die for every ally. No, you can't stack sneak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's how it works. The old sneak I've, stack. I've eh? definitely read that somewhere. Yeah. So, how do you rule this, Ryan? Can I shoot through them, or can I not shoot? You can them? absolutely yeah. shoot through them, and unless okay. you catastrophic fail, uh, you're gonna be just fine. Okay. Don't, ro don't roll a one. Yeah. I, don't roll I a one. Shall... Do that. You've all jinxed it now. Here it comes. Here comes the nat one. That's ridiculous. Uh, natural 20. Oh, uh, okay. thoroughly a average. A, <laughs> a 16 will absolutely hit that creature. Roll that beautiful. Boom. Nice, nice. 14. So that, yeah. Consistent. I like that. So with that 14, he, he, he takes that <laughs> damage yet again and sort of. Boom, the arrow goes through, but slows down as it sort of punctures his watery hide. And he kind of waves at you. Waves. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> yep, yeah, right? And uh, on that note, uh, Zalvana, who apparently has been just hanging out here in the back the whole time, yeah. uh, she's going to go ahead and... Uh, Take her movement to come forward. We turn around and be like, Salvana, and she's just being eaten <laughs> by dire wolves back there. <laughs> oh, they being chewed upon there. Um, like, oh, she's going to go ahead and oh. she's going to throw. Well, no, because you can't. Um, yeah, she's going to uh, throw her dagger at the creature. So she hurls her dagger and rolls a eight. <laughs> and it. Clatters harmlessly off the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't roll a one. Uh, Go back to that making fun of it thing. That was good. <laughs> and Tiberius, you're up. 
All right, uh, I'm gonna go uh, do a little two step with this thing, and Remember, you do have the um, inspiration. <gasps> I do, um, and that can be on. Can that be on damage? No, not damage. Oh, just on just on oh. the attack. Well, actually, hold, hold, can't hold, be on hold damage. My, hold my god, yeah, it's not sorry. damage. Okay. She's she has currently taken the College of Valor which allows her to do combat inspiration. So a creature that has bardic inspiration from you can roll the die and add the number to the weapon damage roll, or uh, when an attack oh. is made against the creature, it can use its reaction to roll the dice and add the number to its AC against that attack. Ooh. Yeah, so you can do it for damage or you can roll it for your AC as a reaction. Fancy. and try to I, College of Valor. It, can you use it for the other normal stuff though? Those are additional. They're not instead of. I think, so. yeah, I believe that they're in in addition to the normal inspiration because magical inspiration, and then because the College of Valor allows you to also add it to the AC and then also the, uh, um, the damage. Okay, Z, Z says I'm correct. It's it's additional. Lovely. Nice, I, nice, I, nice. I have the backing of Z. Try <laughs> it. All right. So. Uh, go to, so go to. Yeah. So like mimicking the tentacle movement, I've got two two blades going. Um, yeah, the yeah. first one. Uh, is a 12 and will not hit. That's fine because I've got a use inspiration. Uh, what's that? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll use it on this. And that's a. He was trying to put six. it on that damage. I was <laughs> trying to put it on that damage. With that three, you will hit. Nice. Okay. It's Roll worth it. That damage. <laughs> Never mind. It was terrible. No, it's not because I still <laughs> got. Well, like, it's not terrible, but I still got a second sword in my hand. <laughs> All right. So with that. Four and then the follow-up sixteen will there hit. There we go. Lovely. Finish it. Much better. Oh, that's mucho, much better. So with the combined uh, attack seven. strength of the four and the ten, even though it is halved, you do a total of seven damage, which is more than enough to finish off the water weird. So as you feel, so the first rapier kind of goes through, boom, and as it sticks into the creature, you release it and then turn and then try to bring that cut across. Flynn, how do you finish this bad boy? Uh, like just but moving between the two, pull one out, pull the other one through. Uh, finish with like a double cross slash, and just stand there and like if it if it like if it just like uh turns into water, disintegrates in front of me, I'm just gonna do like a battle stance in front of it. Dig it, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, it does. It like you you hit it with that last thing, and it seems like it's a it's will, its ability to hold its form just goes out, and it just <laughs> puddles right in front of you. And it's gone. Nice. All right, so check it out. Everything here has been frozen for like two years. How in the fuck have we gotten everything we own wet twice in two days? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't know. He's not wrong. Like, uh, can you exit out if it's dead? Yeah. <laughs> you so, always get so nervous, Dan, when I don't exit <laughs> out a bad guy. It's like I'm gonna do something crazy or something. Like, do you what? blame me? No, no, you're right. You're right. What's the state of the waterfall now? So the waterfall itself, uh, from where the creature sort of broke through, is still like solid ice. It's as if the creature was sort of trapped inside a barrier. Uh, like, like a is it broken up now a little bit? Like, would it be easier to climb up it? Where uh, he, so like, rather than being out? easier to climb up it, it's actually a little more difficult now uh, because what was a, a solid sheet that had a little more kind of a foothold with the jaggedness of it, um, it, it kind of makes it sort of con, uh, con, concave? Yeah. Concave. Concave. yeah. So that you're now having to sort of like climb in and then back out a little bit. So you have that like awkward sort of swing thing going on. Can but, we not just go up on the other side? Can I go like 10 feet to the left? Yeah, yeah, you yes, certainly can. Yes, let me try Is that it again. Uh, no. <laughs> <I'm gonna play. laughs> Let's just use the rope, Herrick. Um, I'm going to... Uh... Oh, hang on a minute. I've got a grappling hook. You have a grappling You've hook? You've had that the whole time? Yeah, I'll throw my grappling hook up. <laughs> Is there anything you don't have? No. Common sense, because he ran to the wall <laughs> the first time. <laughs> there was something you mentioned earlier that I didn't have. And I need to buy it when I get to stock to the shop. Pepper? No, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Spit, I think. Spit, that was it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Tissery. So, how are we getting up this water? I'm from my grappling hook up. Okay. Excellent. 
man has a grappling hook and decides to just run at a wall. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Yep. Uh, you know, that makes sense. Ten yep. foot. I mean, <laughs> let's go ahead and make an athletics check to toss that grappling hook up. It's ten uh, feet. Oh god. <laughs> now discovered Harry. Eleven. Uh, so it, it gets up there uh, and manages to sort of ch like chunk in a little bit. All right, I'll climb up. All right. Lovely. Go ahead and uh, roll me. Uh, so, uh, if, uh, so we'll we'll do a party climb. So everyone, go ahead and roll an athletic. With rope, check. is it with advantage? It climb. is with advantage. Yes. So this is uh, athletics. And yeah, an athletics roll with advantage. So I have a twenty-one, which is a success from Herrick, a fifteen, which is a success from Fariel, a fifteen. Double seventeen. That's from Flynn. <laughs> Damn, Professor! It's like oh, I'm just so weak and feeble. I can't do anything. <laughs> Boop -ba Run across the water. All right. I uh, mean, did you see the size of that book he's carrying? I thought he's got some strength in there. A seventeen. I've got at least three books. from the Professor, and of course a fourteen, which is a fail from Xander. So while Xander manages to kind of get up the, it's not cool looking. Like it, it sort of a little bit of a huff fest and he's like huh. it ain't got to be pretty baby <laughs> i'm on top right right all right and you are now on top of the waterfall and true to form uh as tempest told you there is uh an entrance here to the side which looks to be sort of a, a, a another continuation of the cavern itself as opposed to the the, the river Do you want to do a break now, Ryan, or you want to? Oh yeah. Say, are we powering through this? Are we? Uh... <laughs> well, so this is this, so, friends. This is a, a pretty pretty heavy. Uh, in, it's going to be a pretty heavy encounter based game. But uh, I am. I should give you all a five minute break. So as you uh, as you succeed in climbing the waterfall, go ahead and give yourself a little bit of a water break. So we'll take five <laughs> minutes here uh, and then be back for the continuation and conclusion. Welcome back, friends, to Cold Hard Witch. I'm the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the Effin DM, and this is the game. Here's how it stands. The party has just tried to climb a waterfall, first by running through it. That didn't work out so well, as they released a water weird, which they then proceeded to get weird with and then kick the crap out of. Now, on the top of the waterfall, they have discovered another path that leads deeper into the caves. We go now to the party. Party, what you gonna do? So, should I send Tempest with the flow of water a little further down, or down this side path, or both? You know, first one, then the other. Um, I, I don't mind to just poke my head around the corner of the path and see what I see as well. All right, then I will send. I'll send Tempest down. Uh, DM the the kind of fifty ish feet. Lovely. Just, just trying to. I know that I can go a hundred out and see through her eyes, but I'm trying to not yeah. trigger a whole cave system worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Though we probably have greater visual than this being up here. Greater than that's, what you have. That, yeah, that's true. With with all of your uh, with all of your darky like beautiful shadow visions and whatnot. Yeah, you're able to peer into the darkness. So, uh, uh, Fariel, yours is a hundred. No, yours is like one hundred twenty feet. Yeah, one hundred twenty. All right. Yeah, she's the same as um, Tempest. Lovely. All right, so yeah, you're able to peer whew, straight down that way, and you see that the 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 frozen river sort of takes a turn around the way there. Um, and then, uh, as Tempest sort of calls back to you from her cave, uh, from her uh, tunnel, she says, "There are steps." Just oh, so I think Tempest went north. Oh, I thought you yeah, said. Yeah, I think that was the other way. I was gonna poke my head yeah. around the actual path. Tempest was gonna follow the water. I got confused. All right, so uh, Tempest will go down this way, and as she comes down here, she'll say that there's a bridge. So that's Fariel's token. That would explain <laughs> why I'm so. <soaking. laughs> I was kind of like, where did I go? And then I saw myself at the top. Oh, wait. So there's Tempest. All right, got her. All right. And, and Tempest is being pinged. You just yeah, moved so you me. So you send Tempest down the river? Yes. 
just around the river bend, there is a bridge about uh, 20 feet up. It's sort of Ooh. spans the uh, the cavern there. Uh, there's a there's a bridge 20 feet up across the water down that way. And then let's see and what Feriel sees before we commit to anything. Feriel, with your 120 dark vision, you are able to see sort of down that way. Yeah, uh, the the cavern itself is like it's like fifty feet tall. So where it were in the river that you were in, sort of thirty feet, looks as if this was almost carved out to be a little bit bigger now. Uh, and so with that sort of sight, bing, um, you then see these sort of massive steps in the distance that sort of lead up. Can I look on the ground to see if there's any tracks? So, uh, go ahead and give me a survival check. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. That's a nat 20. Yeah. Or 26. That, that there nat 20 is, uh, absolutely there is. So the tracks of, of the same shambling fishermen seem to lead this direction. There's tracks on the ground headed this way, down this path stairs up ahead well if the tracks go that way then if that's that's what we're after that's probably the smart the smart money um i'm hesitant to walk under a bridge where something could have the uh advantage on us the true. high ground true true i mean before we went under i could send her up above but since the tracks lead this way I can bring her back and let her kind of sneak peek down this way a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably the move. Um, or do you think, should we sneak peek with her or should we just kind of inch up? I mean, I don't mind to creep ahead a little too, if you like. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll call her back to us, DM. Um, okay. But I guess we'll just, we'll, we'll creep a little. All right. So Tempest. Who apparently... uh, before she li before Ferry will leave, I say, uh, "Be careful, my dear." And I'll place a hand on her shoulder and offer you guidance. Nice. Um, oh boy. You, after the game, you you can set uh, Tempest to be under mine and your control. Yeah, I I thought I had set Tempest under your control. That's okay. We'll do it. We'll deal with it after the game. We'll do it live. Um, and then <laughs> and then as uh, um. Zalvana needs to be brought up with us. Yeesh. Um, and the other thing I do for Ferio as well, when he places his hand and offers guidance, he also whispers the words, um, not magically or anything like that, he just says, Aruna Orthrond. And then the next time you roll initiative, you get advantage. Cool. I, nice. see, a, I see a 40 incoming for, uh, for Ferio. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Ferio, as you go ahead and sort of make your way to that spot in the ice caves. You see up ahead um, that the cave, it's so that there are two flights of sort of crudely carved stairs. Uh, and then there actually seems to be a little bit of, of dim light uh, kind of peering through into this next cavern, but the, the stairs themselves are sizable. And so you're not able to see just sort of uh, up on the landing just yet. So what do the stairs, uh, the stairs are not natural, obviously. They look like they're hewn, hewn in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they're into the rock. This is not ice up here. Roll me a perception check, Ferio. Right, the wrong one. Hmm. No worries. With that 15... Uh, because you're that close, you smell this sort of. It is an there's an assault on your senses, whereas it is just as opposed to in a pepper. Um, <laughs> Jeez, hate that it makes me sneeze. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so where you you smell this like sweet sort of brothy smell that seems to be drifting down. Well, <laughs> there's the pepper. Um, so <laughs> where uh, this. Sweet brothy smell seems to be drifting down from deeper inside the caverns. But you then say you also... 
sweet brothy smell. Sweet brothy mm-hmm. smell. I know. That's... So uh, as it sort of drifts down through it, the... but then there's this wave of what you unmistakably know to be decay and death. Ugh. Um. So yeah, you're kind of like, ooh, oh. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna we... creep creep do back we... toward the group. I was going to say, do we notice that as a reaction? We'll just wait for her to tell us. Yeah, um, I'll come back. Um, so there's some light above the stairs and a horrid, horrid smell. Death. And also something kind of tasty smelling. Gross. Gross. Uh, <laughs> but so if it's the smell of death, it must be something that is semi-recent well it's like, like decay it could, death like but 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 it would i mean soft tissue would have frozen and wouldn't be decaying right i mean and i look to our one medic herrick on that it's like it, it's the soft tissue would freeze right if it's warm enough in there then no if it's a den oh shit and i hadn't thought about that magic does all sorts of weird things just uh well. just a nest of of dead flesh I just suggest we use caution. Caution as in don't go that way or no, I th- all together? Just together and quietly, maybe. Ooh. Do I smell <laughs> a group stealth check? <laughs> smell something. <laughs> smell a lot of things. <laughs> so, so many smells. I'm going to drink my healing potion before I go in there. I've got a healing potion. Or should I heal myself? I, I'll use a heal spell. I I guess we could do a group stealth. Uh, uh, I need I need stealth friendly armor. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Oh, I can't keep remembering that Zavana can like, can guide me for these. By the way. Oh. She so if she, she wants to. Doesn't she have, have guidance. her she doesn't bardic have guidance. inspiration. No, no, she could do bardic inspiration and add it to my healing. According to Dash to Tasha's, it can Tasha's. Uh, apply to healing spells as well. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Okay. So, uh, and because Flynn had used his, if she can, uh, yeah, she, she'll go ahead and grant you a, 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 an inspiration. She's yeah. like, she's like, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll pay it forward for your help earlier. Oh, uh, yeah. thank you, dear. There's going to be another one, but oh, no, it's a three. So there's eight. There back, we go. Which hey. is great. Hey. Heels be heels. All right, so stealth check. Oh, shit. Remember, you have got um, guidance that only lasts for a minute. Well, well. Um, should I put the fire out? Let's put the fire out. <laughs> Let's see how bad we failed this stealth check first. <laughs> <Six>. <laughs> Wait, what? Fairy L, you rolled a d4. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, that was for my guidance. Okay, okay. I was like, what the 11. hell? 11. <laughs> Wow, that was a, was a dreadfully got, average stealth roll, my friends. You got a lot of 11s. Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on what the DC is. That's true, that's true. So, um, <laughs> with that roll... Mine's uh, a 13. You, you, so, you are... At, I'm trying to tell them, let me speak. All right. <laughs> so, uh, with that roll, you're able to go ahead and proceed, you believe, with caution, uh, without activating anything, because the... Uh, the 21 is an absolute pass. The 9, mm, mm. the 11, the 11, the 6, and then the final 11. So, well, one of those yeah, because one of those 13. 11s is the 13. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, so, but yeah, so, but the 11s pass anyway. So, the 13 is great. And then the, the two, uh, the 6 and the 9 hurt, but it's okay. So, just the 6 so. and the 9. All right. So, Damn, let's. Damn, uh... this chain mail. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we can go. Got so mail it jingle jangle jingles. <laughs> you uh, you you done there? Um, <laughs> Don't ask as, him as, because then he will continue. As as we get to these steps, the they they're hewn into the rock. Is uh-huh. there anything we can we can tell about them? I mean, this I don't know why I'm asking. Herrick's gonna know much better about stone than me, but mm-hmm. well, I don't know. Herrick I played a dwarf stone. once who couldn't do any sort any sort of stone cunning, so. Uh, all right, so uh, as you are checking out that, um, yeah, the cave. So it, it does have these sort of. Cr- they they are. Uh, Herrick, roll me a perception check. Do you have stone cunning? 
I do. Oh, lovely. Roll. I said, so that, I believe you roll with advantage then. Nope. <clears throat> it is basically an intelligence check, I believe. Uh, it's an uh, is it investigation, and then you add your proficiency bonus twice. That's what it is. All right. Uh, is it, I think it's investigation. Is that right? I think it is. So it's a plus mm -hmm. five. So I will roll the perception and then just take one off of this. So 12. No, that's fine. So yeah, so uh, you're able to tell that like the steps that you're walking up were definitely carved into the rock. Um, they are not naturally occurring. Okay. And the, uh, do they seem old, Herrick? I don't know. It's full of ice. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know. Do I know that, DM? Um, as so, uh, they definitely don't seem like they were made yesterday, especially with like the layer of sort of. Uh, ice and uh, wear that are kind of visible on them. That's about it. Okay. Okay. Just trying right. to figure out our surroundings. Hmm. Wouldn't that be helpful? All right, friends. So, do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Do you crest those stairs to make yourselves up? Yeah. Up the area? Yes. Lovely. I'm guessing by now the rest of us smell what she was telling Absolutely. us. Absolutely. That that sort of sweet brothy smell it's gonna work like, my scarf like, up over my face yeah right and then and, and then you just so there's this giant mound right here of what appears to be like bones and it looks like some of them still have little bits of flesh still attached to them frozen some of them are and then um, the rest are still can I, yeah cheap. that's what i'm more worried about yeah. oh, I, I know. you okay you okay you okay i i, I hear you i see you all right so as is this the Soylent Green Cave? Yeah, right. So as you as you bring yourself into this cave here, um, the moonlight enters through these fissures in the ceiling, and it paints a gory scene as fresh blood is splayed across the floor, indicating that one or more creatures were butchered here recently. And then around you are bones. There are knucklehead trout spines and humanoid skeletons and pieces and then there's there's like small birds sorry bird and uh, other animals and then scraps of, of clothing and armor and, and a few rusty cracked weapons can i uh, roll an investigation to see if uh if there's like like the for like the uh, fisherman gear or like what i could recognize as something i've seen um yeah, that go the other ahead. I'd more? like to. I'd like to pick through as well. Go, yeah, go ahead. Roll your investigation, Professor. Do, you got. Uh, I was gonna say, do you guys want to do a, as a help a shared role? He, he's yeah, got that. Guys... He's he, he's got that. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I got a twenty three. So you see, uh, with that wonderful investigation roll, like you see, uh, like boots, like. Clo like the boots and pants yeah boots and pants, 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 pants um so like you see the gear uh, of what you would think would be a uh, fisherman like the, the sort of cold weather gear that you yourselves have been wearing uh, a bottle similar to one that had been left inside the boat was sort of sh smashed against the ground uh and then there is blood just so much blood and as you are sort of like uh, professor you know almost beyond a fraction of a doubt that like the amount of blood on the floor it, you would be shocked if there were any survivors that that's what i was gonna say does it seem like enough blood for four dwarves mm -hmm. yeah Ugh. okay this we is... know what happened time to go yeah huh? Yep, this is super fun. So glad we came here. Thank you all so very, very much. Not looking good for our missing fisherman. Is 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 the it's at that point? Is the funky decay smell in <gasps> here with us? Because you said the broth is not in here. You see two oh. red eyes from inside the bone pile across the way. These two eyes ding, activate. And as you see them turn, you see the skeleton form sweep aside a pile of bones. And standing in front of you is a frost giant skeleton. Its lower legs have been frozen in place 
with the piles of the dead and the bones. And so as you see it and it sees you, it reaches over and picks up its axe and brings it up and then down into the ice, holding it prisoner. Roll for initiative. Roll for, oh shit. Yeah, oh shit, son. All right, so removing that. Hey, y'all, let's do this dance. Ba -da -da -da. Oh, okay. Wow! I got a nine. The, the one time I give someone else inspiration, I rolled a natural one. <laughs> oh. Starting. I love how your initiative is zero. 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 I also Let's... am a failure and forgot to click my thing first, so I'm just gonna roll it. Hey, no, then. no worries. No, no, no. There, there is no shame in this D and D right now. All right. At least until I feel like shaming people. Go with the first one. All right, friends. So we have got. Uh, I'm still right. missing Zalvana and the professor. Why oh. didn't I show up? Why didn't you show up? Did I you don't click know. your token first? Because that's did. what I did not do. It would be nice for you. To Let's show try up. again. All right. I right. say upon hearing. Uh, Fairy, I'll say, I should have clicked my token. I'm going to make sure I click Sylvana's token. There we go. Hey, look at that. Bard showing up to play. Professor's in there. Fan-freaking-tastic. All right, friends. So, as you see this giant ice skeleton sort of start hacking away at the ice around you, you know you have precious few moments until it is able to free itself. So, About how many rounds does it seem? Yeah, like, give me a ballpark on that. Yeah. How many six separate increments will it take? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they divide this time into six second bubbles. You know, just off the top of my head, spit spitball in here. But, uh, Wait, oh god damn, I'm first. Oh god. I mean, you'd be fine. Yeah. Um Oh my god. <laughs> Eric, is that even possible? A point zero point zero nine. That's what he yep. This mother rolled less than a one. All right. Zero. Uh, well, I guess then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sword and, and bring it straight up and draw it around like on the, the face of a clock circle and cast mage armor on myself. Excellent. Yeah, no, that is a wise... <laughs> Uh, and so mage armor, just a reminder, my AC is 13 plus my dex mod, which makes my AC now 16 temporarily. You should be doing that at the beginning of the day. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Uh, the, wa I, the water weird just got out of hand. I was going to do it back then. but Yeah, yeah. No, like, wake up, mage armor. It's only eight hours, though. Yeah, but it's usually eight only hours. eight hours. But that's like all day. <laughs> Yeah. That's Let's like see. a third of the day. <laughs> Have you met us? <laughs> All right, excellent. So, so as we see this sort of shimmering coat uh, appear around Xander, uh, Fariel, it is now your turn. I'm going to bonus action hide. Excellent. Let's I roll stealth for that. Yeah, yeah, roll me, roll me a stealth for that. Nice. Ah, 26. Uh, yeah, no, he can't beat that. So, so you, you, you good? You hidden? Okay. She gonna get under the bones? You, you, you tuck into the bones? Oh God! Oh. Nah. Hope oh. you find this humorous. <laughs> oh. oh my God! No, but she did find this radius. Ah! I think she had a kind of a visceral reaction to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> you, have been you have a bone to Saturday pick with an stupid RPG. <laughs> Can't take it anymore. <laughs> and I'm gonna this is where the professor just fireballs it. everybody. Right. Yeah, that's fair. All right, so you hide. And then I shoot my short bow at it. Exactly. You do that thing. You do so well. A 14. Yeah. You roll Ooh, again? Is, a is it restrained? Are you not going to roll again? Is it restrained? Oh. You advantage, haven't you? Oh, oh, it is. It is currently restrained in the ice. So oh, you've got advantage because you just stealthed. I don't think that gives me advantage. It does. doesn't give her advantage. It does. It... Oh, I, 
I play a rogue every Monday night. No, no, yeah, no, you're fair. You're fair. All right, yeah. So, uh, roll the attack with advantage. I'll just roll one To be more. fair, the rules for stealth attacks and advantage and stuff are kind of ambiguous in the player's handbook. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Not as good. All right. All right. So, oh. with the 14 being the higher number, uh, we're going to go ahead and roll a contest. So I want to see if you can actually beat. So roll a d20, and I will roll a d20. This is a house rule for me. Uh, rather than meet to beat, when you meet the armor class of the creature or when the creature meets the armor class of you, we have a roll off of a straight d20. Whoever then gets the higher number, either the, the shot manages to glance off your armor, giving you a potential to save yourself, or you manage to find that gap in the armor just perfectly, and it slides in, and you get the hit. So roll your d20. I'll roll mine. You must beat a... Ha! A three, which you did soundly with a 13. So you absolutely shoo, loose that shot and it hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. 15. Nice. 15 points of piercing damage. Well done. All right. Up next is Zolvana. All right. So after Ferriel, uh, um, I'm going to move a little bit as well. Brilliant. Just kind yes. Of around the corner there. Do it. All right then, so he will take the 15 points of piercing damage. And so uh, Zolvana, upon seeing this thing, like come to life, and she is going to go ahead and cast uh, Fairy Fire uh, uh, on the creature, uh, which will allow which will allow any attack roll against the affected creature or object to have advantage if the attacker can see it, and the affected creature uh, or object can't benefit from being invis invisible. So Did all the creature save or make it save? It's restrained and therefore uh, it fails. Automatically save. fails. Yep. Perfect. Yep. So uh, he goes ahead and it's currently lit up in this dazzling display of lights. And he, Zalana goes, I promise it's effective. And sure enough, uh, she lights it up. So all of our attack rolls then are, are now at advantage. Advantage. Sweetie. Speaking of which, Flynn, you're up. Uh huh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be, don't be scared. Get uh, up there, big guy. I'm about to be a little stupid. Um. So <laughs> I'm about to do something stupid. So does so. Can I claim that the frost giant has to hit like itself or like the the pilot's on to free himself? Yes. So it's currently it's currently chipping away at the ice that is restraining its legs. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little stupid then. I'm gonna get into range of it. Um, and I like, I like this plan. Use my dodge and like dodge action on it. Okay. Um, I just want to get his attention to like just to not chip at way at itself, to, but try to hit me and hopefully my dodge is gonna keep me alive <laughs> okay okay so you you're are you attempting to hit it no i mean right. I, I i what i don't know what other type of uh what other action i can use to try and get its attention okay um what do i i have uh you no, want to try to get its attention i will let you bonus action throw something at it yeah 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 um a rock or a bone or whatever yeah right i mean you can literally like <laughs> Pick it up and then just make Hey, a... are you missing this rib bone? <laughs> Is this yours? Oh, wait. No, one? no, no, no. Hey, buddy, I got a bone to pick with you. And like. <laughs> no, I'm buddy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> no, hey, bonehead. I got a bone to pick with you. I like it. I like it. Um, so that like a, that's like a five-year-old assault. A five-year-old insult. Like. It is. It is. <laughs> uh, so uh, just whatever my range attack. Yeah, just give me a, a I'll say your, your range attack. Okay. And don't suck. Well. <laughs> well. Well, uh, I do have an advantage. You do have advantage. <laughs> so don't suck twice. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay. <laughs> you rolled a nine for that first attack, friends. That's, uh, that's a little bit better. Second. So yeah, sure enough, that, that, that bone goes, <sighs> dunk. And you hear it sort of hollowly, like, knock off the, the skeleton skull and sort of looks at you. <laughs> Are you doing your dance? Yes. <laughs> oh, if I could stand up and do it, I would. 
love it. I love it so much. Okay, yeah, no, you definitely have ha you have his attention. <laughs> yep. All right. So. Hey guys, don't don't wait, don't 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 let this be my last stupid mistake. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Don't let me it's, go out like this. It's better right. than what I thought you were going to do, which is put your shield on the ground so he can't chip the ice away. Oh, no, no. I'm not going to put All this right. thing and down then, there. Uh, Professor, you're up, having seen the in the, like the, the tantalizing dance from Flynn, the fighter. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, That's great. Excellent. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and cast a couple cantrips. Um We've got advantage on this thing. Let's uh, do a produce flame. Let's throw a little fireball thing at it. Damn. Natural 20. Ooh. That is a that is a critical hit on that produce That's flame. That's what's up. Uh, so that is 12 uh, nice. fire damage. Nice. With that 12 fire damage, I'll say the creature uh, takes that, and it's... Right. As it sort of, as the flame sort of washes over it a little bit, you notice that the ice seems to also be melting a little faster now. Oh, I was trying to not hit the ice. Okay, oh, fair. Yeah. Um, and then bonus action, I will just go ahead and cast Shillelagh again so that it is up and ready. Brilliant, brilliant. All right. Uh, up next now is. How the hell Herrick going after the frost giant? You know, so the frost giant. Because <laughs> he has a zero. Yeah, because he has a zero. So the frost giant is sitting there and smashing the ice, smashing it. So it's it's desperately trying to get out of the ice. So that's, it focuses all his energy and it makes an attack on the ice with its great ax. Oh, I thought he was going for, uh, for uh... Rolling a 27 to hit. Which will hit, and it will do. I thought he was attacking. Um... Yeah, I don't know how much my my attention thing got to it, oh. but then it got set on fire. <laughs> yeah. And it does seventeen damage to the ice. So you see it. So like it. So he he kind of looked at Flynn as he was dancing, and then this fireball goes <laughs> and sort of blasts him in the side of the head. And he <laughs> kind of looks back and. <sighs> And then boom, brings its axe down as you see this sort of like frosty vapor emanate from its empty skull. Point, point of order: How does he do that if he has no lungs? What's that? <laughs> Magic. It's sort yeah. of the uh, the essence of uh, shut up. And <laughs> <laughs> fair point. Fair point. All right, Herrick, smash it up. Oh, this thing's not natural. Um, they were like, stop being a big wimp, Flynn, and I'll charge in there. I'll get one shot. I'll get one shot. All right. No, I'll, I'll get one shot. Natural 20. Nice. Yes! Oh, yeah. God. All right. Nice More pick done. crit. Uh, 12, yeah. 12 more. Beautiful. Minimum damage. And then um, it'll be like, come on, stop being a big wimp. And then, like, look up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and where is my spell has gone? Uh, it will speak the words uh, Otho Forvac. And cast Shield of Faith. Nice. On himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, the giant. Yeah, no, I like it. I like it. Yeah. He sits there and goes, Come on, friend. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, oh, shake the shield. <laughs> <That's the biggest. laughs> All right. And uh, Xander, you're up. Oh, okay. I'm going to just kind of slowly move to the side a little bit. <laughs> going to kind of just size, size everything up, see what's going on. I was like, is and that... then, just in almost the blink of an eye, I am on top of, not on top of, I am at the target because I am bonus action casting Blade Song. Nice. <clears throat> so nice. that that for one minute, it, I get to add my int mod to my AC. So my AC is actually now 19. Nice. I have 10 foot increased movement 
I have advantage on acrobatics checks, and I have a bonus, uh, con bonus on concentration checks. So Excellent. I'm going to slide right up in here next to Herrick. And I'm oh, going well to take, done, Flynn. Uh, oh, uh, and I'm nice going to take see you here. Uh, yeah, it's good to be here. Uh, an advantaged swing. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Roll that beautiful advantage. Uh, so it's a twenty-four, and so the there there uh, there additional flourishes before and after the attack, and this the the, the kind of swing of the blade through the air is just it, it's almost musical. Mm -hmm. in the way the i mean you can kind of tell the flourishes aren't doing a whole lot but it's it's just kind of part of my my whole persona at the moment yeah uh and that will be for it's behind him dancing five <laughs> piercing damage lovely is uh i say is that like magic piercing damage or just good old-fashioned stabby stab well it's magic piercing damage because it's using my moon touch rapier right 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 dig it you sure you don't want to use a different one? I'm pretty sure. All right, dig it. Yeah, so like you see this this song sort of emanate out as like the two blades like clash together, and you hear this song. Well, it's, just, it's just the one. It's just it's just my rapier. Cool. It inspires both dread and joy in his companions and his enemies. All right. Fantastic. Is that yeah. it for you, Xander? With all you with all you you boom and you whistle? It is. I gotta click off my one of my uses of blades song though. Fariel, you're up. Hey, I'm just gonna hop around the corner here and shoot another arrow at it. Excellent. So, pop shot. Ooh. Mm. Advantage. Mm. That 11 is not going to hit. Mm. I was real distracted by Xander's, like, thing he's doing yeah, there. So it, and it, wow, it, that it, is it, dancing, sudden, and I'm just like, yeah. what is happening? <laughs> what? Just like, some strange like <laughs> I went to kill a skeleton and then a dance party broke out I don't understand so then I'm just gonna go back right. around the corner where I came from right uh, so uh, Zelvana is going to go ahead and take uh, inspiration and toss it to uh, she's like well <laughs> I was gonna give that to Xander but he seems to be doing just fine. So she's actually going to go ahead and, and uh, toss it to Herrick. So she goes ahead and uh, as Herrick is standing there, she's like, uh, don't forget to hit him before he's free. And that's her song. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Madeline, I got this. <laughs> Barded. All right. Uh, and so uh, that's going to be her ex yeah. Okay. So no, because the no, because Bardic Inspiration is not a spell; it is an ability. So she can right. actually use her bonus action as a spell to. Well, the Bardic Inspiration is a bonus action, I believe. Oh, it is a bonus action. I believe. Yeah. I, yeah. But she okay. could do a crossbow or something. Yeah, right? you certainly can. Awesome sauce. Okay, so then she will actually use a spell, and she's going to cast uh, Dissonant Whispers at the uh, at the creature. So uh, she cast that bad boy. He's got to make a wisdom save, which being a skeleton ain't too wise. Um, he makes a four. So yeah, he uh, he will not pass and he'll take the 11 psychic damage uh, from the dissonant whispers as you hear him. Ah! It's, it's sort of more of like a clatter, clatter, clatter. Sort of like a, the sound that like bone chimes make. Uh, so he takes that damage. <laughs> Ouchie. Uh, Flynn, you're up. Oh, so, so we're hitting this thing now? Okay. Um, so <laughs> like we, we, we have actually always been hitting him now, well, but I that's was cool. That's cool. trying to keep him from breaking out of the ice. Uh, so I'm going to get into a better hidden position and go with uh, my first rapier attack. Okay, now that he's walked away, it's all 25s all night. Yeah, no, just re-roll re it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> please. You've got well, you have advantage. You, you have advantage. I don't have advantage. I don't have advantage. <laughs> oh, Look, bless. There it is. There it is. All right. Um. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to follow this up with a, with a psychic strike as well. So this is going to be the straight damage from this. Plus, oh, I'm glad I did that. Uh... Plus the damage from my psionic strike. Oh, 
Why nice. did you do four? That's okay. Well, this the, the first one. I'm not so, using. Yeah, so I've got the four for the piercing, and then the three for the psychic strike, giving you a total of seven damage on the creature. Uh, and I can still use my bonus action, which means I can use my second rape here. Oh, advantage! I can't. <laughs> I keep forgetting. You're right. I still love. <laughs> That's fine. However, then. neither of them. <laughs> Not the 11 nor the 12, really? The 11 nor the 12. And so I imagine you take that first one, you Odd. go, like, boom, then you take the second one, you just kind of go like, whoo! <laughs> you know, whip it around you a little bit. I don't know. Is, is he trying to emulate my, my blade song? I was uh, kind of, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was moved by the music. Professor, you're up. <laughs> All right. Um, let's just do... We're doing okay. I'm gonna do a mine, mine sliver. I need a uh, intelligence save. Oh well, luckily he is so bright. He rolled, oh, Jesus! He rolled a fourteen for that save. He Get has a minus here. two to his intelligence. Yes. <laughs> so uh, no, but he still rolled a fourteen. So uh, I apologize, but but fourteen minus two. No, it, it, the 14 is with the minus two. No. Oh. So he, actually rolled, he rolled a 16. Ugh. He rolled a 16. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was faked out. All right. Yeah, I um, apologize. Psych. Looks like you just got mine slivered. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh, yep, that's all I'll do for now. Dig it. Dig it. And the skeleton is going to go ahead and... It gets disadvantage, it. by the way, DM. It, uh, yeah, he rolled a 27 and a 20 last time. Oh, okay. um, he is hitting the ice. <laughs> so it it will hit its ice. Mm. Um, the kids do yeah, ice. Right, all right, all right. So nice. he rolls that great axe with disadvantage. 15 will hit. And the damage. Jesus. 27 slashing damage for the great axe. Let's and not get is, hit by this. He is free. Ah, damn it. God then he's, he doesn't charge anything? Uh, but he has used his action to break the ice. No, <laughs> no he's, he's free. Just, he's free. <laughs> he doesn't, <laughs> doesn't charge. charge anything. Oh. Uh, uh. Eric, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> you poor, poor loser. <laughs> Right, I will attack, obviously, with it's a 19 okay, to hit. You want it to help me. 19 will hit. Uh, for 9 piercing damage. Does 9 piercing damage. Um, da, da, da. Yeah, that's it. All right. Top of the order, Xander. I am going to... Do another advantage strike. All right. Boom Holy for a crit, cow. baby. This is like the third crit y'all have dropped on me. Well done. 14. 14 crit. 14 crit. That's going to hit right in the funny bone. And th this is round two of my blade song. Yes, round two of the blade song. All right. Uh, anything else, Xander? Uh, no, thank you. Ariel. I am going to do, shockingly, the same thing I've been doing. Yeah, no, that <laughs> sounds legit. <laughs> Pop out, advantage shot, and she scores double 15, which is enough to hit. All right. For 14 damage. Nice. That. Does it look damaged? Oh, so with that, like, so the, with these last two shots, the the critical that comes in, the sh the bow shot from uh, Fariel, like this creature, like it's so it's got the axe in one hand, its one arm gets dislocated from Xander's shot, and it sort of clatters down to the ground next to it. With the bow shot, it actually takes an arrow in the knee and drops down. Oh, no to one and it's stand, sort of trying to stand on its one good leg and it still has its ax in its one hand as it struggles to get back to its feet. And it is Zolvana's turn? It, mm -hmm. is. it is. Sorry, DM, Zolvana gave me inspiration, didn't she? I forgot. She sure did. She sure did. Okay. Well, 
you hit, you oh, you could have done damage, though. I could have done extra damage, yeah. Doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so with that, uh, Zalvana is going to go ahead and cast Vicious Mockery. So she scored two. Nice. Uh, well, let's see if it makes it save first. You made yeah, an right, incredible right, right. save against the professor. Yeah. Right. So uh, it goes to make its wisdom save, which is has to be, shit, be, has to be to 14. It rolls a four. Great. And as... Uh, it checks out. And as so, and as you see the creature try to get back up to its feet, tries to raise its axe to bring it down on the, the melee fighters that are harrowing, harrying it, uh, Zalvana just goes... You're dead. And it, like its neck snaps. And as it does that, the creature crumples, falls to the ground, dead. My kill. <laughs> I like, I look at mine. Silvana. Uh, yeah, like turn around and just like silently look at Silvana. <laughs> Please don't ever say that to uh, me. Holy <laughs> shit. Words have power. That was the most metal shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Remind me not to piss her off. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, damn, y'all. That was a good, uh... It's easy, wasn't it? I am. Don't say uh, that. No. <laughs> so, friends, on that note, I say we have gone ourselves into the cavern. We find ourselves at a place where the party has tackled the water weird, made friends with a pack of dire wolves, and have now just taken down a frost giant skeleton. But that is going to be the end of our Cold Hard Witch game for this evening. Oh, mm. it's no Errors lie in wait in the cauldron caverns. Tune in next week <laughs> to find out. <laughs> mm. Oh, dear. <laughs>